All right, welcome in. I hope y'all can hear me. Hope everybody can hear me. I don't have my mic plugged up. I only have my little, my small camera plugged up. So I hope y'all can hear me. It's happening finally. I told y'all it was coming. I told y'all, I told y'all it's coming. We're talking about predators. We're not talking about that. I told y'all it was coming. I remember saying it. It's like, that, watch, it's going to be a lot of people fucking exposed. Because Hollyweird is weird. And that Me Too movement really kicked a lot of shit off. That's when there was really like a shift, like a universal shift. And things started changing. Does this keep jumping to y'all? Does it seem like the thing, StreamYard is weird. I'm going to start using that other one. I forgot the name of that other little streaming. Not OBS. I don't like them. I really don't like OBS. But that's the other one. I'm going to start using that because this drives me crazy. All right, everybody, come on in. Welcome to Nosy Whole Live. We have a lot to talk about. A lot. Diddy is going down. I told y'all he would. Now they are exposing Dave East, which then is going to bring out the tea about Trey Songs and Dave East and what they did to that escort that I told y'all about two years ago. I told y'all two years ago that Dave East and Trey Songs raped that escort. So y'all need to go and look on my blog. I put the link to the exact post. See, I, I be having receipts and tea. That's why I, I can sit there and let y'all believe whatever the fuck y'all want to believe. So the link is in the description of this video. To the exact blog post where I told y'all, I showed y'all the email that the girl sent me. And I did say allegedly on the post, but I, I knew that he did it. Trey Songs is a rapist. And anybody that's hanging around that nigga is a predator too. Sorry. I don't know why. How else do you hang around him? How else do you hang around him? So that nigga's been exposed. Now they say Jamie Foxx raped some woman. Cuba Gooding Jr. already got all kinds of legal trouble about sexual assault. Now he got more. Harv Pierre, Chow, the whole bad boy. And, and Sloan told us, Sloan Bella told us that it was going to be Diddy and his right-hand man. Three right-hand men. Remember she said that? Is Harv Pierre one of them? Then they bring in Aaron Hall in the mix. And do y'all remember that girl came on and told me that Aaron Hall was sucking Wendy Williams' husband's dick and they caught him and then Aaron, Aaron Hall disappeared for a long time? Everybody that was following the Nosy Hole Live room on Clubhouse, y'all should remember that. She came in, she said that they were in a room together with the door locked or a closet or something. They was locked in there and it was a bunch of industry people trying to get in to tell Aaron Hall he had to go on stage or something. And he was in there with Wendy Williams' husband sucking his dick. They found out. They, when they came out, it was just them two. <clears throat> but when they, I guess, I think the way she described it, and I, I don't want to mix the story up with a different story. Roy, if you want to come up, let me drop the link. I don't want to mix the story up with a different story. But I think the way she described it was like they could hear outside of the room that somebody was sucking dick. And so they're thinking that Aaron Hall is in there with the woman or something. And when they came out, it was Aaron Hall and Wendy Williams' husband. I think that's how that woman described it. Child. We're about to get into all of this because it's so much that's going on. It's so fucking much. I don't, it's like, I don't even know where to start. And then I'm going to talk about somebody said that something was posted that i posted something on twitter i didn't post anything on twitter so let's let's get into that too because that thing and, and if somebody saw what was posted email it to me i didn't see it all right i dropped the link if anybody wants to come up roy or anybody else that wants to come up um and we're gonna get into this mess i'm gonna address what what's happening on twitter first i was literally like in the hospital i don't no, I still didn't take off the damn thing or the damn 
bad day where they had to take blood and give me fluids. But I don't know about that. So somebody's going to have to catch me up. It's a little weird, though. Let's get into it. These motherfucking celebrities are crazy. I'm just a nosy hoe reporting live from everybody else's business. This is the messiest channel on YouTube. Welcome to Nosy Hoe Live. You in the hood now, baby. All right. You said you saw it. Do you have a screenshot of it? Or can you come up and tell us what you saw? I'm just going to say this. Somebody was, was more than one person emailed me about it. One person was like, everybody thinks that you're in the hospital because Diddy poisoned you. I'm like, what? I ain't been around no fucking Diddy. And I'm in the hospital because I got fainty because I have fibroids. I'm going to talk about that on my other channel for women. I have another channel. It's in the description also, Holistic Therapy. So if you are a woman, okay, you sent me the screenshot of it. Let me go check. If you are a woman, just make sure that you're following Holistic Therapy. All right, Lord. How many TVs do y'all need, child? <laughs> y'all be Black Friday shopping. How many TVs do y'all need? If you're a woman, just make sure you're following Holistic Therapy because we're going to go over there after this live stream. And I'm going to talk. I don't want to be talking about five words over here. This is a celebrity news channel. We stay on topic over here as much as we can. All right. So we're going to stick. let that stay over there. So where's this email? Jareen, I didn't send, I didn't post this. Jari, can you come up? Y'all, that's scary. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Um, what's your name, Jarik? Are you able to come up? Can you click the link? I'm going to pull up what you just sent me too. I did not post in. I took a, a picture of my hand on the bed, on the rail. And. Oh my God. Roy, did you see what this person said was on my Twitter? Mm -mm. Hey, no, I didn't see it. Let me go okay. see. Hold on. And then, and then it says 7.02 AM. So. This is what happened. I'm at the hospital. I post that I was at the hospital. I showed like, I was like, I'll be back when I feel better. But you know, when you go to the hospital and they give you them fluids, you start feeling good. It, I came, you know, finally came home after they finally let me go. Told me I didn't need the blood transfusion. I'm this close to needing the blood transfusion. I come home, I sleep for a long time. I wake up feeling real good, child. Put some, some rods in my hair and put on some lipstick and got on YouTube. Nothing. Nobody poisoned me. So people kept emailing me saying people think that Diddy poisoned you because of what you posted on Twitter. I'm like, I didn't post on Twitter. I posted to my community section on YouTube and I posted on Instagram. But I didn't, I really don't go on Twitter that much. And if I do, I just post something and go. I really don't fuck around on Twitter. Some lady commented under it and then it deleted. Okay, are you able to get up here? Let me let me put up this email so you can see what this person just sent me. Um, bro, that's crazy. Ciao. Oh let me cover up this person's. Oh my god, it looks so scary on this big ass picture. I did not. I swear to God, I did not post that. And you know what? When people kept emailing me about it, when I finally woke up and saw it, I tried to get on Twitter and I couldn't get on at first. Like I couldn't get on my Twitter at first. Like I was locked out of it. I had to change my password and everything so that they would let me back in. And I didn't see any posts. So now they're saying that it's deleted. At first, I was like, why are people trolling? Nobody poisoned me. What y'all talking about? Look at this shit, Roy. What the hell? So somebody posted that on your Twitter chat. That's, that's what Jari, that's what they're saying. Jari, what happened? I was at the hospital. Hello. Yeah. So I was on Twitter 
Oh no. So I was on Twitter and I was I was just checking out your um your page because I'm always on there and you know liking stuff. So like I saw that post and I'm like, whoa, that that's like creepy. That's really creepy. So I like I was looking to see if somebody commented. One lady commented and she said something like, um, I guess she was confused as well. So I was like, okay, let me hop over to YouTube and see if like she's posted. So that's when I seen that picture of you in the hospital. So I had scrolled down the comments. And somebody had commented and said, oh, did anybody see that post on Nosy Ho's Twitter or something like that? And um, somebody else, it was like a few other people that commented. And I was like, oh, my God, it's creepy. So I went back on Twitter. So I screenshotted it before I got off Twitter because I'm like, uh, this don't, I'm like, why would Nosy post this? Like, this is weird. I'm like, this is how is this? This is so weird that she was just talking about Diddy and them. And then this just comes up. I'm like, why would she post something like this? Because she's always like speaking her mind. So I'm like, okay, this is weird. So I'm like, let me take a screenshot. So then when I went back on Twitter, it was gone. So and then that's when I like kept checking back on YouTube to see if anybody was like caught it before it was deleted on Twitter. But that was about it. I was like, oh my God, it's so creepy. I was like, I hope she's like, okay. (laughs) So this could be somebody trolling, honestly. So you think they hacked your your Twitter? That's what somebody said in the chat. I couldn't get in my Twitter. I had to change my own password. Oh wow. Yeah, but I definitely took a screenshot before it was deleted. <laughs> uh, Look, uh. said she saw it too. This person free said they saw it. Sweet said that's the thumbnail that Salon who Salon used when she was talking about Diddy. Who was Salone? I thought she talked about Sloan. You know, the... Uh, Sloan Bella? Sloan Bella. Or it could be a dumbass Barb. You're right. Child? Y'all, this is weird. Look, I don't know what y'all think. First of all, Nosy is not the only celebrity, I mean, only blogger that's uh, reporting this news about what's going on with these lawsuits, what's right. going on with these crazy ass men. So why y'all come on her page yeah. putting the bullshit up here? Like, y'all is crazy as hell. And first of all, let me just say this. Good morning to everybody. Let me say that. Good morning to everybody. Secondly, I'm sorry to use in the hospital. I'm glad you're feeling better, Nosy, because you're looking good yeah. now. You're looking amazing. So I'm glad yeah, you're feeling that. well. I but that's good. And then sec- third child, this whole thing with all the child, it just came out of nowhere. When did this start happening? This happened, um, which day is uh, Friday? What was that? Wednesday. Girl, all these got them lawsuits. It was Jamie. I, the first one I had saw was the heart, heart of Pierre. I was like, oh my God, the Diddy, um, the, uh, the, the bad boy president. So I was reading that, getting the teeth. Yeah, wait, wait. Wait, wait, the medium, Sloan Bella, said something about Diddy's mouth being stitched up. Ooh. Wait. Oh. Wait a minute. Did any, it, that, was that Sloan Bella that said that Diddy's mouth was going to be stitched? She, she was saying that he, um, his higher ups wouldn't allow him to speak. Somebody right, y'all. <laughs> something ain't right. Yeah, something is not right about this. That could be somebody trolling. But I can say nobody poisoned me. I don't know why people was emailing me saying, did he poison me? No, I have fibroids, child. I lost too much blood and got fainty in this motherfucker and had to take my ass to the doctor, to the hospital. That's it. It gave me some fluids. I didn't need a blood transfusion. I got rest. That's it. Nobody was near me to poison me. So that didn't happen. We could say that. Whoever posted that on my Twitter, I don't know. That shit is weird. I might delete that whole Twitter because that's weird. I had to change the password to get back in it. That's crazy. Yeah. Child, it's just a whole bunch of mess. It did like I was saying, like I was. Ooh. I was a half Pierre, because you know his ass was on making a band. You know he was on the show making yeah. a band. 
And so I was like, oh my gosh. So did he? So, but let me tell you something. I'm not surprised at all because you know what? When the leader, when the when the hit, when the fish thinks, it starts from the head to the tail. Okay. So did he did he ask why they're doing all this craziness? That his uh subordinates gonna be doing all this craziness too. Yeah. So I'm not motherfucking surprised with uh they are Pierre. Then when I saw Jamie Foxx, girl, I fell dead to the flow. Then this one, the one that kicked me upside my head was Jimmy Iovine. I was like, Lord, see that now yeah. they getting um uh, uh what's his name? Um uh uh um uh, beat him down um Dr. Dre in his beats ass. Now they coming for his um his right hand man. Because you know that's what Bella said. Bella said that um um, you know, Diddy's right hand man was gonna start coming and get, getting down, and Jimmy Iovine was one of them. Child, because you know, you I said Jimmy, three I, right hand men. Three, she said, Yep, she said three. So honey. we got Jimmy and Harv. Mm. That's what she said. Oh, and LA Reed, they had got LA Reed too, baby. Yep. That's three. Boop. There we go. We're going to get the three right there. Thank you, Kayla. I forgot all about it. It was another person that got caught up with all this mess, too. It was L.A. Sure Reed. Child. Mm. She said that, child. Let me tell you something. That's Sloan Bella. She ain't playing. She is not yep. playing. She is, baby. She is not playing. Because let me tell you something. She said three right here, man. So I can see Jimmy Iovine being one of them. L.A. Reed went the second of them, and um, and um, and Harf Pierre, child, this is a mess. They all going down, and I don't care. It's a mess. This is weird. Somebody, that's that Twitter shit is weird. Like, don't play with me. That might be a fucking bar. Like, bitch, don't threaten me. Don't threaten me. I'll I'll give that whole shit to the police. I'll turn that whole Twitter page over to the police. Don't fucking threaten me. Yeah, so L.A. Reed, Harv, and um, Jimmy, all of them. All of the ass. And it's like, this is just craziness. Because, so I was like, okay, so why are all these men getting sued? All these little bitches. So I'm guess so they were saying, like, it's the um, the Survivors. Yeah, like, that's Survivors um, Act. I forgot what it's called. But they had yeah. until Thanksgiving to file lawsuits if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. So I guess what they're winding down. You know, they lawyers was probably like, you need to go ahead and get this in there. It's winding down. Mm -hmm. Either that or they had already filed and it's all coming out now that the deadline yeah. is coming. Yep. And so, baby, they can everybody, girl. They got Marcellus Riley, um, the what the black girl they just added on goddamn um Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. The oh. one yeah, this um he used to he's a sports commentator and he's a football, he used to be a former football player, and his wife. Anna Marie, she had just got added to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Like, she's one of the only blacks that is on that show. She yeah. gets added on that child, and her husband getting uh, sued for sexual assault from 1994. Child, it's been a whole mess, and I believe every one of them, and I don't give a damn because it is what it is. It's like we always said, Nosy, you always said it was going to be the um, the the age of Aquarius. And yeah. baby, when I saw all these goddamn lawsuits, I was like, oh, no, it really is really happening. It's really happening. It is crazy. Now, it's Sloan Miller did say something about a politician and they got, you're right, Um, they got the, um, the mayor of New York. And Sloan Bella said it was going to be a politician involved, too. Did you see that? Uh, uh I didn't see about the um the I, I forgot what she said about the politician or well, they got uh Eric they got the, um Eric um uh, what's his name Eric um mm -hmm. Eric, uh, NYC Mayor Listen, Adams Eric Adams Lord mm -hmm. Jesus mm. they got they got a few of them child I got all of it saved I've been saving it every time people send it to me I'll try to save what's going on so I could dig into it but yeah they got a lot of their asses uh Marcellus widely accused of rape there he is. I've been saving all of them. Um, mm -hmm. Andrew, who are you, Andrew? And what you got to add? Hello. Well, hello. I can. Can you hear me? Yeah. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. I'm just going to say that. What, yeah. Can you hear me? Oh Always my in God. my mic not working. Sir. Oh, yes, we can hear you. Yeah, yes, yeah. I can hear. You. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, oh, go ahead. Oh, I just wanted 
I just wanted to say that whatever Diddy say. I just wanted oh, to say whatever God. Diddy did. That damn Obama phone on here just tear up the whole vibe and shit with your broke ass phone. This Black Friday, get your ass down to that goddamn Walmart and get you a better computer, better phone or something. They got fucking Chromebooks for 50 bucks down at the Wally World. Get your ass on that damn bus and hand your ass down to that Wally World. Get you a new phone or new computer. Goddamn. Oh. <sighs> It might be something going on though, cause now my shit freezing. Now I think it's uh, froze. Oh hell. Something going on. Oh <laughs> y'all, they be attacking the fuck out this day. I'm, I'm telling you, they be attacking our asses. All right, can y'all still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. All right, hold on. I don't know. That man might not be slow. It might be something going on. All right, so is it unfroze now? It's still froze. Now I can see. Now you're moving now. All right, you so where'd the now. man go? Where did where the man go? Child, I have no idea where that man went. We don't know who he was. I don't know, y'all. Maybe he'll come back. He probably will. I don't know. He probably came over here and brought the freezing, honestly. Honestly. Hey. He probably froze it up probably did all right so anyway what were you saying child Go child ahead. What... it's just the whole boy i just got to roasting his ass down to the ground like sir get the hell out of here but yeah chat this is this this is a mess this is oh all these men getting down to the ground it's like okay yeah and i believe every one of them it is what it is now cuba good jr they had got his ass and it's like his fifth maybe this yep. like his Fifth damn lawsuit because then he gets sued and got locked up and they had because you know how like yep. you get locked up in New York they love to put you in that perp walk they did a perp walk I was just yes. about to say oh perp walk with this nigga yes I love when they get locked up in New York because New York don't play they put them through that perp walk baby with yep. the watches out there to shame them down to the ground I said oh they had got Cuba shamed down to the ground go through the walk of shame and so I was like well they got his ass again I was like Lord they need to lock that motherfucker they need to put a fucking they need to damn um um <laughs> they need to castrate this motherfucker this is like his fifth goddamn lawsuit yeah, they he they damn sure did a purple. He was looking all embarrassed. Thank you, um, A E M Tramp. Thank you. Um, no, they didn't do one. I'm not. I'm not too thrilled about doing that either. I'm trying to take care of my own damn blood. Um, but yeah, they damn sure did a purple. He was looking all ashamed. But some and it was some kind of way. Was it him? No, it was Trey Songs that pulled a girl's shirt down, and the girl was looking all embarrassed. So. That it wasn't Cuban Gooden Jr. that did that. He had a different accusation. Trey Song's accusation: the girl he put. They show, have it on video where he pulled a girl's top down, but they um they dropped it and they said something about the girl waited too long. So all of them are just being social media is like, why the fuck? What do you mean she waited too long? It's on video. Exactly. It's, it's on, on video. video. What he did is on video. Cuba Gooden Jr., I think he's been raping people for a long time. I do. I think he's been raping people. Now 50 Cent saying he's going to produce Surviving Diddy, but is he going to include all these other niggas on there? Because everybody, he going to have to put um Jimmy and Harv on there and L.A. Reid, he going to have to. That's the three right-hand men that Sloan was talking about. Showed it, and you can't, and they all interconnected because they all got a play the part in his goddamn career. So if you're gonna if you're gonna tell Diddy, you gotta tell it all. This Wait time. a minute, look at this. Sloan Channel Biggie a few years ago. If you watched that video, she says that he told her that Diddy and a woman he loved plotted against him. Ooh. Would that be Faith or Kim? And I don't think it's Kim. I think it's Faith. I think it's Faith too. I think Kim loved that nigga's dirty draws. Okay, Kim Faith wasn't that tore up about him dying. Okay, because Faith, you remember Faith loved Biggie before he became Biggie. 
So he he she was with Biggie ass when he was out there selling rocks down at <laughs> on Bedford Avenue down in uh in Bed Stuyvesant. Okay, so yeah. you know she loved like you said she loved that dirty draws, baby. She loved that cock eye, yeah. baby. She loved that big old belly, honey. She didn't give no fuck. She was like, "This I'm is my man, you. and I don't care." Even though he already had a baby mama, he she did not care. She saw his ass down at that damn uh, uh, at that damn um. um uh, department store, honey, when she was working there, child, and she fell in love right then there. And that damn, uh, I think it's Faith, child. Ooh, Faith. Is that the reason why um, um, the devil came back and hit you upside the head and had you uh, dating and got married to Stevie J and Stevie J got your hair coming out the park, child? Gotta pay, pay the fuck out Stevie J. I think, I think Stevie J getting some of that man's coins. This okay. Daryl Hall must be real young. That man's name is Aaron Hall. You got to be young because we all know who Aaron Hall is. Okay. So who said Dar who said Daryl? <laughs> this person in the chat said um, a third person is claiming Diddy sexually assault sexually assaulted them with Daryl Hall. No, his name is Aaron Hall, baby. That's Mister. I miss you. Okay. And before okay. that, he was, he he was a motherfucker. Exactly, he is yeah. he from um what's the group he was in public uh, public announcement I think it was yeah chat and ooh, you know public announcement had you know they had look, look, they, Roy hmm. that's that person that came up sorry my wife I is acting up just wanted to say Diddy deserves everything that is happening to him he did this to a friend of mine and she wants to come on live okay well tell her come over here. They can and, tell her come on up I'm sorry we watched you down to the ground I thought you was bullshitting but shall. You can come back up, Andrew, and tell how to come up here and tell a story, shall. Oh, with Guy. It was Guy. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Right, I yeah, that's what I said, Guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was a public announcement. Thank y'all for correcting me, child. It was one oh, of them. It was Guy. Yeah, it was one of them nigga groups, child. Thank y'all for correcting me, child. <laughs> child. It's a mess, but Andrew, you can slap your ass back up here. You know, hopefully your Obama phone working. Get the teacher. Tell her come on up, honey, and let us let us know. Cause look, everybody telling stories. They need to come on out. Come on out. Cause let me tell you something. The Asian Aquarius is here, baby, and all these motherfuckers get exposed down to the ground, and I'm living for it. More people need to come on yeah. out. This is this is this is. Y'all, this is big. And you're right. Um, I do might need to go over there and slide with um um Miss Dean. And um, because it's something that person posting it on my Twitter is very weird. I, I don't know why any I don't know how they would get access to my Twitter. It had to be a hacker. That's what makes me think, like, was that a barb? They do creepy shit. They're creepy. They have hacked other people's pages. Like Thank these bars so are insane. Like I'm wondering, y'all gonna do? Because let me tell y'all something. One thing about uh, I don't like DJ Academics, but he got that right. Y'all fan base ain't worth two damn flash. Y'all will go and y'all will love to uh, 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 attack people on social media. Y'all be in the comments going off, but when rubber beats the road, y'all asses don't be supporting these artists like y'all don't buy the albums. Y'all don't stream the albums. Y'all don't tear your ass down to the damn uh, to the damn concert venue. You don't do any of that. Y'all don't do yeah. none of that. Y'all be doing all this shit for um um all this shit for Nikki, and then I bet you when the album drop, the shit gonna be maybe one be number one for the first week, and then the next week it drop right up off the damn charts because y'all ain't shit. Y'all y'all do all this stuff to everybody else, but when it comes to y'all home girl, y'all don't support her when you actually support her. That's why her ass couldn't do that goddamn tour she want to do because the shit always falling out falling out of pieces because nobody buying her shit. But y'all got the nerve to sit here and attack me for all the goddamn time. Child, please, y'all, y'all is trash. Y'all really are. Child, it I think that might be a barb that did that shit to my page. And people were saying I got poisoned. But did I was like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Y'all weird. I ain't been nowhere near that man that I know of. Not the fuck that I know of. Um, Andrew, we need to hear from this woman. I dropped the link. The link is pinned. She needs to come over here. And you need to come over here. She needs to get this out. We we want to know who is she? What did he do to her? Because the the other girl that filed the lawsuit is saying, um, I think she's the second. Then the third was this one with um with Aaron Hawk. But it's so much to break down. The second girl said that she was in college and that Diddy drugged her. He pulled the um R. Kelly on her. 
This we are in Kenya. She interned for him in 2018. Don't be no African scammer. Do you have an IG so she can talk to you? My IG is nosy whole lies. Don't come over here scamming because we don't have time. Now, my my Instagram is nosy whole lies. She can hit me up right on Instagram. But don't play with us because y'all Africans be on some shit sometimes. She interned for him. Child from Kenya. Tell her it's nosy whole life. She can, she can, she can, she can hit me up. But again, don't play. Yeah, but um, so the second girl said she was in college and Diddy drugged her and um and then he recorded it and gave the video to Devante from Jodeci. Did you hear that? Is Roy still here? All right, Roy might be Black uh, Black Friday shopping. Did y'all hear about that? That girl said, yes, yeah, send it to her. The girl said that Diddy um, drugged her, recorded his, himself assaulting her, and sent it to Devontae from Jodeci, and that Devontae wouldn't say anything because he didn't want to mess up his the, like Jodeci's career, like their little record deal back then. Thank you for the super chat. Fucking Jodeci is being brought into this. And she, mm -hmm. other people saw it too so it's not just Devante it was Devante and other people that saw it this y'all first time hearing this child when I tell y'all I was in there talking to the nurses about this shit I was like oh can you give me my phone while I'm getting my fluids I got to keep y'all I'm telling y'all I was holding on for dear life thank you for the super sticker I was holding on for dear life in that hospital. And I was like, can you give me my phone? I got to keep up with this tea. Jesus. Child. I don't want that shit in the hospital. I damn near didn't want to go home. I was so comfortable. If I get up and get dressed, I'm going to have to put my phone down. Child, I was in that shit. Yeah, as soon as I had enough fluids to not be a, a knocked out, and hold my head up. I was watching them fucking blogs. I said, "Ooh, this is messy." Mm. Baby, I didn't hear about that child, but the Jodeci child. Ooh, yes, Devonte. Devonte knows about the second girl that came out against Diddy. He watched the rape on tape. He watched it. Everybody, we're, they're saying that we don't have likes. Now, do we need to um, go to members only? How many mods do I have here? Do we need to do members only? We let can. Me check, let me check the likes. Cause this is hold on. Let me check. Aaron Hall said, "Jodeci and Diddy watched him have sex." You see what? I'm, somebody send that to me. Send me that. Cause see, they snitch on themselves, and now everything starts coming out. And this about you can go and look at their previous when they had loose lips sinking ships, their previous interviews, and that'd be the validation right there. And let me tell y'all what else is validation. I told y'all two fucking years ago that Dave East and Trey Songs raped an escort. I told y'all that, but y'all don't like when I tell y'all shit because y'all think that I for some reason got a fucking clout chase. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about you whores. What the fuck I got a clout chase for? Fuck every one of you. And that's all my mama. I don't have to fucking make shit up to cloud chase. Fuck y'all. Ooh. Escort has released alleged text between her and Dave East. Now, this woman is not necessarily saying that he assaulted her, but this shows that he be reaching out to escorts. That's what him and Trey Songs were doing together. The girl that contacted me, she told, girl, let, let me get let me get the link. The link is in the description of this video. I'm not gonna sit here and go back and forth about what was said. I took a screenshot of her email and I put the email on my blog two years ago. So you don't have to scroll through. The exact link to the blog post is in the description of this video. Go read it. She was an escort too. Like she said that she serviced people in the industry. And that she was there to have sex, but she didn't agree to all of them. She did not agree to that. And it go, it went from Trey Songs to being Trey Songs, Dave East, and a bodyguard. She did not consent to that. That is rape. I don't give a fuck if she's an escort or not. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. They raped that girl. And now, like I said, he's still over here reaching out to escorts. That makes that for me, that validates what that girl said. I don't see why she would make it up. She's not suing nobody either that I know of. She don't even want to, nobody to know that that's her. She decided she don't want to even talk about it. She don't want to fuck up her money. Because she's still servicing niggas in the industry more than likely. She don't want to be known. But she was like, everything that you're saying, everything that's coming out about Trey Songs is true. Because this is what he did to me. Told y'all. I fucking told y'all. These men be snitching on themselves. They're all rapists. And I think that that's something that a lot of these dick obsessed women have a problem with. They in the comments saying they trying to take the black man down. Bitch, the black man been raping for a long time. Stop. Stop. Nobody's trying to take nobody down. When they got Harvey Weinstein and, and Jeffrey Epstein, you didn't see white people saying they just trying to take the white man down. No, they did it. They said those men are predators and we don't want predators a part of our community. Excommunicate them. But it's always okay. black people finding a way to support black rapists. Y'all are weird people. You're weird. They raped, period. Okay, because I don't hear I'll be hearing that a lot too, Nosy. Let me tell y'all something. That y'all need to get up with that, get off with that bullshit. Because let me tell you something. There's a whole bunch of whites that had got caught up in this shit too. And I don't hear nobody in the white community, like you said, going off or they bringing down the white man because they got uh, Jimmy Iovine ass down. They got right. Marilyn Man Manson had got hit with a lawsuit. Axel Rose got hit with a fucking lawsuit. Russell Brand got hit with a fucking lawsuit. All these are white men. You know, I don't hear no Becky Sue or Martha going off in the white community, going off about these, these powerful, fine black men. White women don't white do that. Men. They don't protect predators. It's black women. And most of and black women are mostly molested. It's more than 60% of black women are molested before the age of 18 by black men. So you know that you were molested or raped as a child, but you just can't believe that anybody else was. Black women need to get off a of black dick for real, because it's disgusting. It's sick. Go ahead, Roy. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And I like you said, I don't hear like it's a lot. I was like, after they got Axel Rose old ass down to the ground. Axel, your child, I was like, Lord Jesus, the Maryland child, I don't hear nobody in the white community, nobody going off about those fine, those uh, great, powerful, them, them fine, them good, good white men. They going off with them. They trying to take down the white man. I ain't going to hear nobody talking about shit. I be, when they were talking about Jamie Foxx, I go on the damn comments. Oh, they're bringing another black man down. Where they was gro going in on Marcellus Wiley. Oh, they trying to take down a, a good white black man. All the black men need to get passports. Yes. Somebody in the goddamn comments talking about some. All the black men need to get passports. And get the fuck out this country, child. I was like, no. Much. That shit is weird. Black people, there's some kind of sickness with that. Just the, the need to to um to um support and protect rapists, especially when so many black women are raped and molested. It's just weird. It's it's really weird. It's some kind of sickness. I've never seen white women in comments going crazy supporting white rapists. They will call them out and they don't want to be around them. They will meet to the fuck out them niggas. It's always black women. Black women need a lot of help. For real. Black women need a lot of like help and therapy because that obsession with black men, even to the point where you are protecting predators, that's some kind of curse. That's not normal. It's not normal. And these are the same black men that will say that you're too ugly, too black, too nappy headed, too fat, too bald headed. And they want white and Hispanic women. But you have this weird, undying, one-sided loyalty to them. It has to be some kind of curse. It's thick. Welcome in, KK. Tell everybody on Beagle we over here now. Get their asses over here. I think it might be a fucking spell or something because it's real. It's creepy to watch. And it's embarrassing because other people of other races are watching as black people sit there and windmill and, you know, doing all this weird ass fighting for black men to have the right to rape. And they will even say, well, Harvey Weinstein, what about, her? bitch, he's in prison. Shut the fuck up about Harvey. He's in prison where the rest of these niggas need to be. Shut up. 
What are we talking about Harvey for? White women didn't stand by him and protect him through his raping, and he's in prison. Why are y'all fighting for black men to have the equal right to rape? That don't seem like something weird to fight for. Creepy. Black women creep me out. I swear. Black straight women with that obsession with black men, they creep me out with that. Yeah, or are you yeah. still go ahead, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm still here, hon. I give you tell you speaking like I spell, honey. And that's why all I started. It was like a whole bunch of niggas, a whole bunch of black women going off about these about these men. They all in the comments with especially with Jamie Foxx. I was like, Lord Jesus Christ. It was Marcellus Wiley and um and Jamie Foxx. And I'm like, okay, y'all know this, like, you know, you think you don't think that black men is capable of doing the same thing these crazy ass white men be doing? They do they both do the same thing. There, but, but you know, but y'all sitting here going off about these good black men. How do you know these motherfuckers are good? I kind of believe the goddamn story with the old Jamie Foxx thing, and I believe all the shit that's going on with Diddy ass. And you can tell all the shit going down with Diddy because it's not just him in Bad Boy. Everybody, it's now it seems like everybody who was an executive who has some power in Bad Boy, they did what the hell they wanted. Why? Because Diddy did what the hell he wanted, and he allowed that shit to happen. It is no way in hell that if, if you're the leader of a company that your subordinates is out here doing the same shit your ass is doing. What type of damn goddamn corporation is that? You think Elon Musk is going to allow his goddamn employees to do all this crazy ass shit? Hell no. Yeah. That's a liability. This is a mess. It was like, this nigga is going down. They need to hurry up and get that motherfucker locked up. And I don't care how cute his son, his thugs is. I don't give a good goddamn... Take all their asses down. And let me tell you something. Them thuns, King Combs, and Quint Quincy, take your you ain't even did did ain't your daddy. I'll be sure it's your daddy. Go take your ass down there and see what's going on with your daddy and stay with your fucking your real daddy. Don't fuck daddy. I don't give a damn if you bankrolled your mama and all this other stuff. Take your ass to your real daddy, the one that looked just like you. Take your ass over there. Stay your ass with Marisha. Take your black ass away from over there from Diddy too, because it sounds because because I saw on uh, on uh, on Lovely T's channel that her ass still kind of still supporting fucking Diddy ass. Since Wait a minute, who supporting it? Marisha, child, Carisha girl. If you don't get your black ass from round there, because let me tell you something. You doing all this? You going? This man's going down. Get your ass from around there. See y'all. See y'all. Y'all. Y'all motherfuckers is hard headed. Y'all see this motherfucker going down. He's, he in a, a lo new lawsuit every day since last week. Y'all still. Y'all still want to sit here and want to kiss this motherfucker's ass, trying to get some goddamn free press and promotion out this motherfucking gay man. Keep okay. Go ahead. Go right on ahead, Carisha. Go right on ahead. But you got all that smoke. Rightfully so for DJ Academics. Y'all was you and your um your um hired uh queen uh Sauce Santana. Y'all motherfuckers been going in on DJ Academics for the last two weeks, but y'all hoes ain't said a goddamn thing about Diddy. Y'all ain't said not one word about Diddy. Child, yeah. please let me let me shut the hell up. Let me be quiet. Child, child, I Carisha's a bird though. Carisha's a bird. She's going back to New York next week. Now it's up to you and her. She never, this would come. Okay, well, just tell her to hit me up. Okay, it's Nose Hill Live on Instagram, like I said. She can contact me. She can come over here and tell her story. We give a platform to um the, you know, the, the victims and survivors over here. So she can come over here. Did he, did he rape her? That's what you're saying? She can come over here and tell her story. All right? We're not pro Diddy over here. We don't give a fuck about that Harlem shaking ass nigga. Fuck that nigga. I don't give a f I don't support predator men. I'm not that kind of black woman. Fuck all these men. All of them. All of them. I'm not standing with no fucking rapist. I don't give a fuck if the white man did rape. So what? And the fact that y'all think that black men should be able to rape because the white man raped, you're a creepy, bitch. You're a creep. You're a fucking creep. That shit is weird as fuck. It's some kind of weird spell on black women. Because that shit ain't fucking normal. Let me pull this video up because I want to hear what this motherfucking man is saying. He always running his fucking mouth about what somebody did.
every single man on this list has been sued for sexual assault. Now, what you probably don't know, all of these lawsuits were filed in New York. All of these lawsuits were filed last week, last couple of days. And all of these lawsuits involve very old claims. In the case of Mayor Eric Adams, you're talking about a woman claiming sexual assault from 1983. That's before I was born, more than 30 years ago. There's time limits to filing lawsuits, right? You can't just wait forever. How are these people able to file such old lawsuits against these guys? Well, what's going on here is the Adult Victim Survivors Act. The New York State Legislature passed a law that said that if you're a victim of sexual assault and you never filed a claim because you were scared, because you were this, because you were that, and now it's too late, well, we're going to open up a one-year window from November 22nd, 2022 to today, November 23rd, 2023. Today is the last day within this Adult Victim Survivors Act window to file a lawsuit. And what you have happened in these sexual assault cases, probably what happened in the Diddy case, people don't file the lawsuit immediately. First, they call you and they say, hey, do you want to pay me to settle this lawsuit? Because if you don't, I'm going to file it and then it's going to go public. So before they go public with it, they use that leverage of keeping it confidential, keeping it out of the public eye to try to settle. Now, if the celebrity defendant, whoever it is on the other side, doesn't care and they say, no, I'm not settling, you go file, then you go file. So in this case, the deadline to file these old claims was today. So they kind of waited and they were trying to negotiate, keep that leverage of keeping it confidential. And then eventually when you don't get that settlement, you go ahead and you file that lawsuit. Interesting, in the Diddy case, they would have probably been doing that. I don't know, but I'm guessing they would have probably been negotiating with Diddy. He's like, nah, 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 I'm not going to do it. Then it went public. And the next day he settles to me, I don't know this, but it suggests that he miscalculated. It suggests that he didn't realize what it was going to look like in the light of day. And when he saw it, he was like, yo, run that settlement back. Every single man on this list has been sued for. That makes sense. They probably been filed though, been trying to file those cases and was like, well, First, we need to see if they'll settle. But when it's getting closer to that deadline and they won't settle, go ahead and fucking file it. That's what happened. They These men could have settled and kept the shit quiet. They want to be so fucking cocky. And it ended up now they're all coming out at the same time. Because mm -hmm. that's what happened with, that's what, exactly what happened with Diddy. They said that it was reported that she filed the lawsuit. And then Diddy, um, and that Diddy, you know, yeah, she filed the lawsuit, but he didn't want to settle. He didn't want to fucking settle. Something happened. And then she came out with the damn lawsuit. Then all of a sudden, he settled. So that sounds like what he what he just said, that this stuff was already out already. That they, that Diddy, especially with the Diddy and Cassie thing, that she already had reached out to him about this damn, about the settlement for all the shit that he did to her. And he didn't, he didn't know his ass. He didn't want to motherfucking pay. He didn't want to do this, that, and third. So she said, you know what? Let me get your, because I heard this too, nosy. I said, ooh. Now, Cassie's attorney is the same attorney, a good white man, that took down fucking Harvey Weinstein, baby. Yes, they did say that. And then the same attorney, guess who? Guess who of uh, the attorney is uh, is representing the victim of this of the new lawsuit? Jimmy oh. Iovine. The person that's suing Jimmy Iovine got the same attorney as Cassie, honey. Ooh, and I heard that, baby. I said, you know what? Well, you Strong know what? Girl. I bet you Cassie knows something about Jimmy. Ooh. And I bet you Cassie told her lawyer, and her lawyer said, this is a perfect case because I already know about this motherfucker from my other client. Mm. Child. Let me tell you, because when I heard that, I was like, oh, shit. I was like, they got him. I was like, it's a wrap. It's over, because he ain't he ain't fucking around. Because he got, because uh, I forgot the attorney's name. I was like, oh, that's him? I was like, he was the same white man that took Harvey Weinstein down to the ground, honey. Got the money and locked this motherfucking ass up. Baby, they said Cassie was on it. I was like, oh, then they said that the lady who was suing Jimmy Iovine got the same attorney, honey. I was like, Lord Jesus. I was like, that. I said, oh, Jesus, Lord. I was like, this is the end of the day. Jimmy, is they going to come for that goddamn um, Beats by Dre money? Ooh, because y'all love giving um, <laughs> um uh, Beats by uh, y'all. Uh, uh, Dr. Dre, you know, I've always been sad on you for what the fuck you did to Michelle A, what the yep. fuck you did with motherfucking D Barnes. Then he shot out. at Michelle A. Dr. Dre shot at Michelle A. Show did. Show did. 
Show did. And then here come a uh, fucking now here come um Suge Knight got a damn podcast out in, in jail. I'm like, let me tell you something. Y- y'all <laughs> y'all be giving these niggas in jail too many accommodations and too many goddamn um too many um <laughs> accommodations down at the jailhouse. I ain't know you supposed to have Wi-Fi. Y'all be giving these niggas Wi-Fi and computers and video games and all No, what they, they do, he them. calls them because I heard one episode. He does a collect call. Oh, to, okay. And then they record the call. Oh, his oh, okay, I got you. And oh, they shit. say he's in there spilling tea. He about to spill tea about Tupac and something about Diddy. Mm. That's what they say. They say the fourth episode, I think he's supposed to spill on Diddy. Oh, yeah, bring it on out. I should bring it on out. Bring it on out. I want to hear it. We want to hear, it, girl. Like I said, uh, Sylvia, girl, you said that the chickens come have come home to roost, honey, Ooh. on everybody's motherfucking heads, baby. I shall. I'll be like, Ooh, y'all in jail. I was wondering how the hell um Suge Knight is spilling all these teas down to the jail. So I say, ain't that motherfucker on death row? Actually, on death row. Okay. I, I think he got like twenty something. I think he got like 20 something years. Yeah, it was up to real long. I was like, his ass, child. I guess she looked like shit. My fat ass got gout in my leg. And I I got one foot to the grave and one foot in this jail cell. Let me Ooh. go ahead and spill all this damn tea, child. Mm-hmm. Now, this is interesting. They have until December 31st, 2023 to file in California. So think about this. They already tried to settle with these celebrities. They wouldn't settle, so everybody's shit came out at the deadline. This deadline, it might be another um, outpour, a bunch more men, because they won't just settle. Oh, so you so said- might be a bunch more of them December 31st, just like we had a bunch of them for this this deadline. That's a whole different deadline. Oh, I didn't hear about this one. They got to see it in California, Lord Jesus. So you're going to get hit right on Chris on New Year's Eve. Child. It's going to be more men and probably some of the same men, too. Because did he got connections to uh, California? Child. And they said that in that lawsuit that he, uh, he had made cast and had sex with other men up and through um, um, Santa Monica, all in uh, uh, Beverly Hills, child. At the Beverly Hills Hilton, honey, and Intercontinental Beverly Hills and stuff from Santa Monica and all that other stuff. Chow. Is you think it's I still think they ain't gonna they ain't gonna want to settle. I bet but some you know what? They, they, saying settle. they probably settle it because they see probably because they see what's happening now. But some of these men really feel like, oh well, go ahead and foul. It's not gonna be me. They gonna fucking see though. Okay. They gonna find and find out. Chow. Cause that's what Diddy thought. Diddy thought that his, oh wow, I ain't finna pay this motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. And guess he what? Nobody, nobody care about Cassie. We not. I'm not paying that. Exactly. That's exactly yeah. what happened. That is exactly yeah. what happened. Oh, I ain't paying that. I ain't. That's you know how like they like to, like to call women bitches. Oh, I ain't paying that bitch no money. To yeah. that. And said okay. And a good white attorney got on that ass and said okay, we got you, bitch, and we finna sue your bitch ass. Is that what? Thank you, and you should you should have did that twenty four hours ago and ran me my motherfucking money. Now your ass finna get now you finna be the new R Kelly, and they finna do a surviving Diddy on your ass. And Fifty Cent, you better add you you better add uh your homeboys on there too. Jimmy IV, motherfucking Dave East, all your homeboys, all the blacks, add yep. them to them, add them on there too. Child, this is crazy now. Diddy is losing all kinds of money around here. The girl that accused him of the drugging, rape, and revenge porn, she's the one that said that that Devontae from Jodeci saw the tape of the rape and he didn't want to say anything because he didn't want to lose his career. So I know Macy's is getting rid of his clothes. It's like two or three other big deals that he's losing. Child, let me look through these posts because I say so much shit. Somebody in the comments tell me, what else is it? It's like a couple of different deals that uh, he's losing. It was, the, it was the Macy's deal with uh, the Macy's deal with Sean John. Let me tell you something about that. I didn't even know that even so still so Sean John. Down I the know. Macy's. Who buys Sean John? Thank you. So this is how I, I was like, so 
what was it, a couple of months ago. This was like right in the beginning of uh, the summertime. No, this was yet yeah, around. No, it was around Mother's Day. I went to Macy's to buy my mom some perfume for Mother's Day. And so I was like, let me slide over here to the men's department. Child, I saw, I was like, they had a big section of Sean John. And I was like, they still sell this shit? This is what I found out they were still selling this shit back in, you know, in the, uh, in the springtime back in May for Mother's Day. So I was Ooh. like, why are they still? They had a big section of Sean, Sean John. I was like, they had a whole bunch of whites. It was like white shirts, white denim pants, white shorts. All type of white shit. I'm like, girl, what do you sell all this guy? I said, people still buying this shit. So when we I saw the, the third wait. accuser, we're on the third accuser already. Um, Drea, go ahead, go ahead, Roy, go ahead. I'm sorry, but yeah. No, so when I saw it, I was like, they still selling this shit now at the Macy's. So I was like, child, they really is still selling this shit. What's next? Y'all gonna uh, bring back Car Canine and for Platinum Football too? Child, please. I was like, child. And so when I saw that shit, with the Macy's to taking his ass down to the ground. I was like, ooh. And so the people with the Ciroc, the people with the Ciroc people, because I always was under the impression <laughs> that Diddy owned Ciroc. So, but he didn't never own yes. Ciroc. No, because he's been he's been fighting with them before this lawsuit came out. He was fighting with them. Yes, and so he, I guess he wanted the same deal because the same company that um that that owns the Rock also owns Casamigos, and so I guess Diddy wanted the same deal as Casamigos with George Clooney and um uh Cindy Crawford's husband. He wanted the same deal because they had got a billion dollar deal. With that liquor brand, and so Diddy Ooh. wanted the same fucking thing, and they was like, "Hell no, we ain't give your black ass no damn um this thing." And then here it come with the lawsuit with Cassie, and then here they come roasting his ass down to the ground. Say, see, this is the reason why we ain't want to pay your motherfucking ass because your ass ain't shit. Ciao. Now wait a minute, y'all. First of all, everybody that that. Uh, somebody sent the cash, two people sent the cash app. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And everybody that sent super chats, thank y'all for supporting the channel, okay? Um, especially the cash apps because I don't have to split it with YouTube. So thank you. Um, I saw the Suge Knight interview last night. He said, Did he beat Cassie as well as some lady from Interscope Records? And he said, Interscope paid her to be quiet. Ooh, and you know who owned uh, led uh, Interscope Records? Yep. Mm, Jimmy, oh, you going down too, Jimmy? Oh, y'all, they they all going down. Jesus, thank you, Lotus. Well, I got the I got to I got to watch that damn Shug interview. Oh, yeah, I got. I told you they say he's spilling tea on Diddy. Oh, so now he got Cassie. Then the second girl that came out that was the college student. That said that um that Devonte from Jodeci saw the tape of her being raped, and then we got the girl that's bringing Aaron Hall in it. Now Aaron Hall, somebody was just saying for anybody that just got here, somebody was just saying that Aaron Hall admitted in an interview before, I guess it was years ago, that um Diddy and Jodeci saw him having sex, like they saw it on tape or something. So they're kind of like snitching on themselves. I guess they think that they got away with the things they did. So they out here telling their freaky tales like it was just a wild time, you know, being superstars or whatever. And the whole time it was assault. And now it's coming back to get them. Child, I can't wait for all the asses to be exposed. All of them. All of them. All of them. Also, if you just got here and you're wondering about the tea with Dave Easton Trey songs raping that woman, the link to that blog post is in my description of this video. I put the link. I told y'all this two years ago. I told y'all this in 2021 that Trey Songs and Dave East raped that girl. Okay. So that's already there. I'm, I'm glad I have it stamped receipts because motherfuckers will swear. Oh, how she didn't know what she talking about, bitch. I said this two years ago. This is very, very. I heard that Aaron Hall interview. He also said Denzel knows how he fucked. Child. Ooh. Denzel. Denzel. Denzel Washington. Now, I, the only thing I know about Denzel is that he's been fucking with um, Sanaa Lathan for years. Sure have. Sure have. And That's all I know about. Be paying her and bankrolling her. Yeah. That's how you do it. Child. That's all I know about him. I don't know about him being involved in anything else. 
Aaron Hall's video interview was from Vlad where he dropped names that were there. They get on Vlad. Them niggas, them black men get on Vlad and they tell that man, it'd be like uh, the first 48. It's like he give them a cigarette and a box of chicken and they just start spilling. Okay. Wow. Uh, thank you for the super sticker. Them niggas, thank you, um, CC. Them niggas get on Vlad and they will sell their soul to that man. That man puts a spell on those niggas. They sure some- do. It's crazy. They tell everything on there. So people have been arrested for shit that they told on Vlad, and they still doing it. Mm-hmm. And you heard that um, they said that Vlad be paying um, be paying Boosie. You know, because you know every other week he on Boosie on there interviewing, spelling teas, most people down to the ground, and he gets paid like a a big amount of money from Vlad for doing those uh, doing those interviews. Child. They said now they said that he can pay like thirty thousand dollars per interview. Ooh. That's what I heard. That's what the street said. I was like, Girl. damn, I need to go on Vlad and, and snitch. Okay. <laughs> Morgan Freeman, who is old ass rape? Child, I believe it. At this point, him, Sydney Party, all them old ass men raping. Okay, because so, you heard what they Morgan said about Freeman? the uh, daughter, the, the stepdaughter child. About, uh, yeah, wait a minute. What was the what was the tea about Morgan Freeman? That he that he allegedly had sex with his um with his what was it the stepdaughter and then the stepdaughter end up um you know end up you know uh killing herself and the boyfriend and that now she end up did she kill, end, up, end up killing herself or she got killed by the boyfriend or something like that it was something crazy with the step uh, it step was father. something crazy with a daughter or a stepdaughter with I remember stepdaughter, that yes. Yes, and then he, um, and then I think the she ended up dying. I don't know if she ended up getting kid murdered or she, it was uh, a form of suicide. I can't remember which one it was. And then the boyfriend came out because I think the boyfriend ended up getting sued or getting locked up, and he was spilling teas about Morgan. It was a mess, child. They say the step granddaughter. Oh, the step granddaughter. Okay, thank y'all because it's because I can't remember. Yeah, come on and chat. Yeah, refresh my memory. It was something about the. I know it's the step grand, the step granddaughter. Thank you for correcting me, but I can't remember how she passed away. I knew that she died. He married I, her. Oh. And Macy's now removed all. Sh- y'all, this is the messiest channel on YouTube. Ooh. Did y'all like the video? Because we about to go to members only. This is the messiest motherfucking channel on YouTube. When I tell you we spill tea over here. Not over the weekend, not over Black Friday weekend, child. Child. If yes, you I do. Call- yeah, you, you are right. Um, um, who was that? <clears throat> Yvette, I think that he did raise her because it was like because he like knew her since she was like a baby, and then it was like <laughs> I was like, That's crazy. What? it was a mess. I was like, child. But something happened with the door. I didn't. She ended up getting. I think yeah. She ended up getting stabbed. And I think she ended up getting stabbed and murdered by the. Let me pull up the goddamn story because it was crazy. Ooh. It was Morgan Freeman's step or step door. <laughs> a grand door. It was a mess. Anybody want to come up? Click the link. We about to go to members only. I don't know what the lights look like. I don't see a mod telling me what the lights look like. So we we about to go to members only. When the mod comes in and give a like check, we'll uh, you know if it's if the lights up, we'll switch it back. Yeah, that's crazy. The Macy's people removed this man's clothes. Did, y'all know Diddy's about to be broke, right? Y'all know Diddy's about to go broke. Cause he's gonna be so irrelevant. Show. And that psychic said that she said that people were gonna people were gonna remove energy from him. You will see him and not even pay attention. Nisi, your mic or cam is not connected. It won't let me bring you up. You got to try again. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let me turn my light back on. It's dark in here. That's crazy. You said 369 likes. We got 800 people. That's not going to cut it. So we're going to keep it on members only. Thank you. So is Morgan Freeman being sued? Is that happening? I didn't see a lawsuit against his old ass. But I saw lawsuits against the rest of these niggas. These niggas is going down. They're not playing with them. They're not playing with them. All of them. They're all going to fuck down. Nisi, what you got? 
I wanted to ask you, Nosey, remember what Suge said? I think it was on his. Hold page. on, hold on. You got static. Can you hear me clear now? It's staticking. Is it just me, y'all? Getting. Yeah, I can hear the static too. Let me let me get back off you. No, we need the tea. Girl, come up here and give us the tea. Okay, so this is what I pour because you know I love the Daily Mail. This is what the report from uh from Morgan Freeman's grand. He said he did this. Morgan Freeman is blamed for his granddaughter's death at the killer boyfriend sentencing as his mother screams out that the Oscar winning Oscar winner molested her before being ushered out of court. Wait a minute, she said it in court. Yes, this is what she screamed, and the um the killer's boy, the killer's mama screamed in court, saying that uh, Morgan Freeman did this. Lamar Davis, thirty three, was wait, six. Wait a minute, the okay, she was murdered. They convicted a killer, mm -hmm. and the killer's mom said, "No, my son didn't do it. Morgan Freeman did it." Yes, we this need to talk said. to the mom. Child, he did this with the headline. I'm gonna, I'm gonna email it to you. This is what the headline says He did this. Morgan Freeman is blamed for his granddaughter's death at the killer boyfriend's sentencing as his mother screams out that the Oscar winner molested her before being ushered out of court. Lamar Davenport, 33, was sentenced to 20 years in prison for first degree manslaughter after he was found not guilty of second degree murder in May. Davenport stabbed Hines 25 times in what his lawyers argued was a drug-induced psychosis brought on by his use of PCP. Morgan Freeman molested her, and he caused this. He did this. Lamar Davenport's mother screamed out in court Thursday. Judge Ellen Biden, Biden did not elaborate on her decision and made to convict Davenport of mass slaughter instead of murder. Davenport's lawyer stated in court that Hines and her stepfather, her step grandfather Morgan Freeman had a sexual relationship. Freeman has denied those allegations in the past. Child. So, mm -mm. Ooh, hold on, Nisi. This is too much. Where it's is the much. man? Where is the man locked up? Is he locked up in New York? Do we know that? Because I'll go to the prison. Ooh. Let me see. Hold on one sec. Ooh, somebody go dig that up. Nisi, what you got going on? I was, I was going to say, do you remember that first or second collect call Suge made? He made that statement by Akon sleeping with a 12-year-old girl at some parties. You know you ain't hear no more about that. Ooh. No. Y'all didn't hear about that? No. Akon with 12... I think they were 12, 30. Anyway, they was minors, 12, 15, 16, something like that. They wasn't 18 or 19. And next thing you know, he was talking about he was going to sue Shug, but you ain't heard nothing about it. So I'm wondering if Akon went and paid them girls off. Because you ain't heard no more about Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a video. It's, it's a, a blog post from May 9, 2007. It says Akon apologizes for on stage dance with teen. Now let I heard me see. About that. Okay, so th this is this is a clue. Okay, this is a clue. Akon under fire for doing a sexually explicit dance on stage with a 14 year old girl has offered an apology to the teen and anyone else who was offended by the display. So there's a clue. You look at a 14 year old girl's face, you know she's 14. I don't care how much these weird ass motherfuckers say that they don't know, they know. But you know he's from over there in Africa. They sleep with they, they you know they can sleep with minors like that. Yeah, they, 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 that's, that's, they do that nasty shit over And that's there. why when black people be over here, you have to watch these black men who be going on and on about going back to Africa. They want to rape young girls. I don't care what they say. Well, over there it's the, it's, it's not it's not, it's legal. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I know so they, they have a video of it right here. There's a video of the whole little um he on top of this girl. Yeah, I heard about that. I remember that. Yeah, but you noticed the one that the Suge Knight just said something because he was talking about he gonna shoot sue Suge. Next thing you know, I guess he done paid him off and it just went away. No blogs or nothing hadn't posted on it. So I guess he caught it. Ciao.
Why is he on top of this young girl like that? Oh my this God. Mm, mm, mm. This is a child. Oh my God. They act like them rough ass Jamaicans. And where's her parents at? Why in the hell is she doing at an Akon concert at 14 years old? I wouldn't give a fuck if I put my toddler out there. He don't have a right to do this. He sure don't. What the hell? I mean, like, they might as well took it, took their clothes off. Oh what my is God. this? That's a 14 year old girl. So he just pulled her out of the audience? Chow. That's what it looks like. Mm-hmm. It's on Daily Motion. I got a little page on Daily Motion. I haven't been over there for a long time. Chow. It's getting sick around here. This is a mess. Do you so think he killed his, his step granddaughter after he molested her, allegedly? Akon, we just saw him being a child molester. Now, Suge Knight is saying that he 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 was raping girls. Is that what Suge Knight is saying? Yep, on the collect calls. It was, I think it was the first on the collect call when he said it. I feel let me tell you something. That's I'm when I'm on my way to the mall. Next, I'm going to put my you know, car. Child, when I get to the mall, honey, I'm finna I'm, when I roll my fat ass down to the mall, <laughs> I'm finna put Shook's goddamn interview, and I'm gonna listen to the whole goddamn thing. I got to hear this. This is a yeah, mess. And the next episode. Thing you know, it, it went away. It went away. You ain't heard hey. no more about it from the blogs or nobody. So I just got done saying. I just got done saying that when these niggas defend these predator ass niggas, that's because they are predators too. I just said that. I said it the other day too. When I was talking about uh, Peter Guns with his old wrinkled face ass and Rich Dollars, AKA um, Broke No Broke Dollars, dollars. <laughs> how they was defending Diddy. I told y'all, and these motherfucking- And moves, Slim Thug, don't forget Slim Thug. Sleeping and that raggedy thug. bitch too who got his own cousin pregnant. I told y'all, when they defend these men, it's because they have done the same thing and they are angry that people have the nerve to stop people from raping. They have, they, people have the nerve to stop black men from raping. They hate that. That's what they're mad about. I told y'all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They I just feel said, out because I feel I, out. You know what? I think Nosey Diddy probably, after all these lawsuits and Diddy, he might file bankruptcy. He ain't going to have no choice. Show sure ain't. Because they this is a mess. To the clean. Ain't nobody fucking with him. Nobody's fucking with do him. Do you think he gonna um let some like since all this is coming down? Do you think he gonna uh let his uh like his artists out of their contracts? I don't know what he gonna do, but I know he that Sloan Bella told us that this is the end of him, and that but she even she said say, all of the money that he has is not even his money. Did, did she say some more stuff? Folks come out in March or April or something like that. March. Correct me. Yeah. I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it Me too. too. I wonder if it gonna involve Diddy or somebody else high profile. It's Diddy. Oh wow. She said that he this isn't the end of this for him. It's gonna be something else that comes out in March. Maybe it's gonna be a criminal. And I wonder why these maybe it's gonna be a like, criminal case in March. Ooh. You know, I, that's what I'm saying. I was just gonna say that, like how they did R. Kelly. I, I, and he Diddy did way worse than R. Kelly. Why they are not investigating this man. They did it on di on, on Kells. Why they can't do it with him? Fuck Kells and fuck Diddy too. But I mean, I'm saying, but you see what I'm fuck saying? Fuck R. Like, Kelly too. He's, he's a like, rapist too. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I totally agree, but I'm just he's saying. He's a child rapist. It's like Diddy getting a slap on the wrist. I, I'm starting to believe Kanye. He's a fan. R. Kelly got a slap on the wrist for years, so, and he eventually got caught, so Diddy gonna eventually get caught too. Fuck R. Kelly. Giving them girls herpes with his nasty ass. And some of y'all old women are mad that he didn't give y'all herpes. Y'all want his herpes. No, nah, I don't want his ass. And I, I'm 50 some years old. Some of y'all some of y'all be defending that. Hell no. I don't think I like was his music, but I stopped. He don't want y'all. He don't want old bitches. He want little girls. He don't want y'all. Okay. Yeah. So he, I don't want, put, he, I want, he wants children. Me. Oh, and then I was on Clubhouse last night, right? You know, I used to subscribe to him. I had to unsubscribe. Whack 100 defending Puffy. I told y'all Wack 100 fucked his aunt, so. I ain't heard that one. He had sex with his own aunt. He said that was the best sex uh -uh, he ever had. I'm done. 
unsubscribe. You lost a supporter. Bye. Yeah, I unsubscribe from wow. him. No, I thought you was talking to me. Cause bye. No, fuck this aunt. No, no, no. I'm talking my aunt. He fucked this aunt. He said it. It's it's recorded. It's a recorded phone call. I can't support predators. I'm sorry. Wow, well, that that's incest. Either and way, I'm not buying if no, you no fuck more. your own aunt, you'll do anything. And I'm not support buying no more bad boy music. Like I stopped with R. Kelly. I'm not doing no more nothing dealing with bad boys. Put money in Combs' pocket. And I believe, you know what I believe? I believe that, like, I believe whoever leaked that shit about the damn criminal case, they leaked that too goddamn early. Who I believe that it is a federal, I think it is, but I don't think it's a New York case. I'm thinking it's a federal case and somebody spilled the teas too early and that is what's going to drop on fucking Diddy ass. In fucking March, I'm telling you, that's what's gonna happen. You he think gonna get so? that, he ain't gonna get no death. He ain't gonna get no. He may get a combination of both state and federal, like they did fucking uh, R. Kelly ass. But I believe that some type of case. I don't know. I just feel it that Diddy is going down with the whole criminal case. It ain't gonna be no more. It's gonna be a lot more civil lawsuits, of course. But I but think that- in March she said, and I feel it in March around that time. It's gonna be some type of big. Criminal case on Diddy's ass. No, he ain't be able to do nothing about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn, I just lost my train of thought. Somebody was about to ask, ask you, do you? Uh, I don't know. I just lost my train of thought. Dang, this is crazy. This is a mess, nosy. This is a whole mess. Do this y'all think any? Do y'all think nope. any more? Do y'all think any more celebs gonna come? I mean, any more uh rape charges and stuff gonna come out in 2024 or any more high pro- profile celebs or rappers or basketball players? Child, but 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 huh. it's probably gonna be some more on New Year's Eve, baby. Child, this ain't <laughs> this ain't the end. <laughs> look, let me get my tea ready, <laughs> baby. Oh Jesus, because I didn't know that the same law that's happened in New York it also is happening in California. A lord, I child, these oh, it's I didn't ooh. know about that either. Me either. I'm like, oh, hell, uh, that, yeah, New that, Year's Eve, child. Ooh. Mm. Let me ask this what I wanted to ask you, Nosey. Do you think, uh, do you like, do you think the family of Kim Porter can have her body exhumed for another autopsy? I don't know if she was cremated or what, so I don't know. I just know Salon Bella said they need to check her hair. And she said that somebody has her hair or her hairbrush or something that belongs, something that was hers, that they're going to check for DNA or for but something. But do you, you heard, did y'all, y'all know this girl is saying she was Kim Porter's sister and she was saying that. I she heard that's not her sister. Oh, well, she, mm, well. No, I, I heard that's not her sister. She did that then, interview with that man sitting there looking poor. They said that, I don't know if that's her sister or not. And did y'all also know that Kim Porter's niece was babysitting the twins and did he owe her some money and she taking him to court, but she want her identity concealed? Child. Y'all didn't hear about that? Mm-hmm. I guess because she know did he, you know, up some because he want her identity revealed and she fighting to keep it sealed. Ooh. Child. So y'all know Gloria Velez yeah. was with Aaron Hall. Somebody said, and I remember this. Somebody sent me this, which reminds me, we talked about this before on Clubhouse. This is from 2014, that she um, she did an interview. I remember and, that. Uh, she was talking about Aaron Hall uh, beating her and I think being a child molester. Yeah, she was 16. He was 16 at the time when they got together. No, he was older. He's about 50, what? If I'm 50, that means he'll buy, what, 55, 57, somewhere off in there? He wasn't on 57 when he got with that girl. Oh, no, 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 no. She was 16. Now. She was 16. He about 30, about 29, 30. Wrong with this woman. I'm asking how he was when he got with the, when he molested. Oh, I don't know. Okay, but you don't know. Yeah, so somebody just said that to me. Um, I do remember her speaking out about him. Child, with allegations of pedophilia and domestic violence, it makes us wonder 
why he would speak her name in the first place. And that's what I'm saying. Aaron Hall is bold because he also talked about how all the people who saw him having sex, why are you naming all those people? Why are you name dropping like that? He's very bold. Mm-hmm. And now he's, he's looped up in this shit with take that, take that. Did he? So the third accuser is the one who is naming Aaron Hall. It seems like she's saying that Aaron Hall raped her too. Let me go get all the details. Cause child, I was, some of the stuff I was falling asleep on. Do you think this, Aaron Hall got money to pay? pay this is also the Chronicle Speaks. Mm-hmm. Let me pull this up. Shot you down for the sister of sexual assault. Also allegation. And I'm like, this is Aaron Hall. Oh my God. The latest accuser who reportedly remains anonymous details a harrowing incident from incident from 1990 or 1991 using Diddy and singer-songwriter Aaron Hall of a joint assault. The narrative unfolds at an event hosted by MCA Records where Combs and Hall allegedly flirtatious and handsy invited the women to an after party at Hall's apartment where followed was a night of coercion and assault with Diddy and Hall taking turns, leaving the victims traumatized. Mm-hmm. Wow. Days later, the lawsuit claims Diddy turned violent, assaulted one of the victims in a fit of rage, fearing she would disclose the horrific events. The complaint names MCA Music Entertainment and Geffen Records as defendants. Who was Geffen Records? Adding complexity to an already convoluted legal situation okay who is geffen records does anybody know yeah i like for them niggas to see how i fuck like you speak yeah. to joe to see a puff you and any of them niggas yeah. they've been in my house they all see me fuck they all know i'm a big niggas yeah i like for them niggas to see how i fuck like you speak yeah. to joe to see a puff you and any of them niggas yeah. they've been in my house they all see me fuck they all know i'm a big niggas yeah i like Y'all, they be snitching on themselves. Mm-mm-mm. They telling on themselves. Ooh. They just letting everybody know what they do. All right, thank you for the light count. Thank you. Hold on. That is so, so they took turns on this woman remember the show search for the next pussycat doll with Lil kim the white guy on the judging paddle is from geffen records a mainly pop record company what do they have to do with what they did what does geffen records does anybody know the connection i'll start digging what do they have to do with what Aaron Hall and Puffy did. Did he work with them? Ah, it's a part of Interscope. Okay. Boom. Yeah. So now here comes Jimmy back in the mix. Child. Wow. Uh, uh. This is crazy. Everybody's going to prison. Everybody. Everybody's going to prison. They're all going to prison. It's going to be something that's going to come out that's going to be recent enough or it's going to be a murder. Mm. Watch, because ain't no statute of limitations on that murder. Sure we know Puffy has murdered. And it's going to be that Which either yes. some of them participate. I'm tired of this lady. Some of them participated in. I don't have no patience, y'all. My blood low. I can't keep listening to her interrupt me. It's going to be a murder that either some of these men participated in or they know about it or they help cover it up or something. And it's going to be people going to prison. I believe so too. Cause you know, is this kid, that quiet is kept. <laughs> did he did blow up that man's car in the damn driveway? Like he was fucking good fellas, honey. So huh, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised. But then you, you uh, Charlie, you saw the damn Rolling Stone article. I had forgot about Diddy busting that man upside the head with that liquor bottle. He doing all this crazy shit, honey. It's just a child. I would not Steve be surprised. Steve Sound. 
That was Steve Stout. Steve Stout. Uh huh. I wouldn't be surprised if a murder happened here and there, child. Now you know Steve Stout is accused of of rape. Mm. You don't it's remember like that? The whole music industry. It's just like it's like it just seems like all of Hollywood. And all of the music industry, it's like y'all are just a bunch of deplorables and degenerates. It's like, oh my God. Child. It is Who's a mess. Next? Who's next? Who's next? Baby, it, it oh Jesus. Mm. Oh. <laughs> We're we, we gonna find out in three weeks in four weeks. <laughs> Yeah, that's that that recording is circulating everywhere. That allegedly, um, that allegedly he gave Usher an STD. I don't know how true it is. I have no idea. But also, people have been talking about this, and a, a couple of people sent it to me too. Justin Bieber's "Yummy" video, and how that video was about children being molested in this industry. Ciao. And it's a sick video. You got to go watch it. I have to watch that. Ooh. Yeah. Them people got Bieber, Usher, Child, and they just keep passing it down. This is this is real fucking crazy. Like I said, everybody's going to prison. Everybody. Everybody's going down. Everybody is going down. So he has three accusers now. There's Cassie. Then the second girl said that Jodeci knows about her rape, that Devontae knows about her rape. That's the one that was in college. Okay, 50 Cent Messy Ass is posting it. That's the one that was in college. Now the third one says that Aaron Hall was involved. So this says, spokesperson for Diddy reportedly responds to new lawsuit. This is clearly a money grab and nothing more. Child. Mm. I think he drugged this woman. I believe it. I think he did it. I, I fully, fully goddamn believe it. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Exactly. This is like four women, including Cassie. Now it's four women. On top of the other, the um, the the Asian girlfriend, I forgot her name, Gina, came out and spilled all her teas about what happened to her. And that was also in the damn um in the Roller Stone magazine when she did that. Oh. Uh, the um the Asian girlfriend of Diddy. She had yes. Yeah, she had came out. She was on that girl, an uh, old girl's um, interview uh, channel, whatever. And she yeah. said that she went on, she said that Diddy would did, basically abused her the same way Cassie said in that lawsuit. Basically, almost yeah. word for word. So I was like, Lord, Jesus Christ. They had released that, uh, the clippings of that interview. And it was basically, it sounded like the same thing that Cassie described in the lawsuit is come out this lady's mouth. And this interview happened a couple of years ago. I was like, I can't. I can't. Yeah. I, 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 I don't even child. Diddy, your ass is net. Your ass is grass, sir. And I'm ready for it. Because this is what your ass get. This is what your ass deserves. This is what your ass get. And I hope and pray that they do something with Kim Porter's body and tap up with your motherfucking ass and you down to the ground with a damn uh, murder uh, or some type of murder. Goddamn uh, 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 lawsuit too. A goddamn uh, murder case because your ass is going down too. This is a mess. Hold on. Somebody just told me Cuba Gooden Jr. tried to date rape them. Hold on. What? Jesus. What? This is crazy. Oh my God. She said this nine minutes ago. It said, um, no at Nosy Whole Life, motherfuckers don't listen to nobody. Cuba good and try me on Bourbon Street, literally on some date rape shit. But hey, everybody think a motherfucker just talking. Girl, come over here. What? And I believe that too. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Damn, I was, it was something I was about to say. And when I read that, I forgot. Why his name already been out there for giving women herpes? Talking about Usher. Girl, I don't know. I don't know what Diddy gave Usher. 
or allegedly, I don't know. But I want this girl to come up here and talk about what happened to her. What? Do y'all see how crazy this is? This all is the, it's just like now is everybody just coming out telling their story. Mm -hmm. It is a mess. It is a mess. And I believe that uh, Cuba Gooden Jr. story, too. I believe it. I believe that. Mm. And I'm sorry that lady had to go through that. That is a mess. Let me try to tag her. Yep. Let me tell her, come over here. Oh, my God. Oh, I remember that, Kayla. Yeah, they said the two of the victims said that uh, it was men that child showed in. And you remember that girl, the the one, the girl that came out and said that she had caught herpes too. And it was roasting her down to the ground because she overweight. And they were saying, oh, well, us, you would never deal with your big ass. This and the third, child. Yeah. Gloria Arvett was representing them people. Show did. This woman came back up here. No, see, I was just gonna tell you, don't forget about Nelly. Did you send me this email about Nelly over and over? That was you? No, that's not it. No, I don't know who that is. Yeah, they they sent me Nelly being um arrested for rape. Yeah, that's what I was gonna tell you. But anyway, I'm gonna drop off because that I don't was know. six years ago. So is somebody gonna come out and accuse him now? Somebody got some on him now. I want to know everybody's dirt. I heard. I don't know how true it is, allegedly. But I'm going to drop off because I got to get ready for work. All right, child. Um, AC, you can come up. The link is already pinned. You can just click it and come up. Who is Francis' son? I don't know who that is. You can tell them to contact me. Child. This is... Nosy, this is too, this is too much for me. I can't take no more. This is just the rabbit hole is going deeper and deeper and deeper. Girl, can you see the fucking light no more? This is a mess. We can't see the light no more. We so deep, girl. We almost through the other end of the world. Shit. Yeah, so many people. Uh, somebody just hit said something about they want to tell their story. They might be some of these people might be lying and trolling. Okay. You know, no dumb shit. They think that I'm a dumbass blogger. Bitch, I check everybody out. So oh. don't think you just come over here and give me a dumbass story. Sometimes y'all be y'all the most why I got stories that be bullshit. Don't be calling people just bullshit. We put you down to the ground. I just sent them the link to come over here. It's like three people saying they want to tell their story. Just come up and tell it then. I don't know what the problem is. You don't be coming up here with your bullshit because we gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk that we're gonna drag you. Playing yeah, it off your face. Yeah. This is serious shit. You want to play around. You want some. You want some uh, publicity. You want some attention. Go suck dick. That's what you can go fucking do. Don't come up here with that bullshit and, and spill a laugh in the seat. If you got a story, tell it. But don't be coming here telling no bullshit. That's a different between a story and bullshit. Don't come up here with that. Here, dumb shit. Galiz, right. real victims out here. Countless. And I don't give a damn if it happened. And, and, and uh, four minutes ago, four months ago, four years ago, 94, 84, 64. Ooh. I don't give a damn. Look, they say Sloan Bella talked about them people too, child. Ooh. Ooh, yes. So, the, the, yeah, ooh, yes, yes. This, 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 uh, his name is David Geffen. Now, I heard that he's a gay, honey, and he got this goddamn, um, this um, young gay dude, child. And they said this new guy, this new guy that he got, this twink, honey. They saying that baby, he is taking this old man for his money. They were saying like the family don't want him around because the boyfriend, the new boy, the new boyfriend is like eighty years old and shit. I'm oh, sorry, that the new boyfriend is like eighty. Uh, like David Geffen is damn in his eighties, 
the gay boyfriend is about in his 20s, and they saying that he all he is is a gold digger and all this other stuff, child. It was some mess going on with the child. I was like, Ooh. I didn't know that David Geffen was gay. I was like, Lord Jesus. They saying that the, the new boyfriend, all he wants is the money. He don't give a damn about Dave. I was like, oh, my God. It's the best about his life. Let me pull that up, too, because it, it came out like a couple of Almost last year, a couple of months, almost last year, about David Geffen and this new gay that he's dating. I was like, child. How about you want to bet he's involved in some child molestation that went on in this little industry? I child. I child. <laughs> child. It's, it's getting crazy around here. Okay. Well, let's get Daryl. Let's block Daryl. We didn't ask you what you believe. You probably a rapist too. We don't want to hear what you believe. Blocked. Yeah, so that happened. This is a mess. Just one week final RB singer Cassie's lawsuit against rapper and producer Sean Diddy Combs for rape and prolonged abuse, which was set, settled a day later. A new accuser has filed the lawsuit. The lawsuit claim. The latest claim asserts that in 1991, when she was a college student, Diddy allegedly drugged and raped her. The alleged victim submitted her complaint to Manhattan Supreme Court on Thursday, right before the Adult Survivors Act deadline. Now, I was uh, reading about this, that this girl actually reported him back then. Mm. Me, yeah, like she was scared at first, but then I guess like right after this happened, you know, after a few days or whatever, I can't remember how long ago, how long after it was, a few days or weeks after, she actually reported it to the police. But it seems like nothing really came of it. So she's not just coming out of nowhere. It seems like she did a police report back then. But think about reporting to NYPD that Diddy did something to you and who Diddy is in New York. Mm. So it's just, I don't know. All of this shit is strange. All of it. I I stand with the fucking victims. I don't give a fuck. I don't trust men. I don't believe men. I don't care. You have to prove it. You being a man, you have to prove that you didn't do it to me. Because for me, I'm going to stand with women first. Period. But this ain't that kind of channel where, oh, the black man is being taken down. Fuck the black man, the blue man, any man. These men are rapists out here. They're out here raping. So anybody wants to be stupid, okay, and just believe whatever they say, go ahead. Jamie Foxx faces a lawsuit for alleged sexual assault stemming from an incident at a New York City restaurant in 2015. Mm. Okay. According to a lawsuit obtained by TMZ, the incident took place at Catch, NYC, and Roof around 11 p.m. in, why don't they just say Catch? Around 11 p.m. in August 2015. This bitch know the time, child. The alleged Ooh. victim claimed she noticed Fox at a table nearby when she arrived to be seated in the rooftop lounge and bar. The plaintiff alleges that Fox pulled her to the back area of the rooftop where he reportedly placed both hands on her waist, moved them under her top, and began rubbing her breast. She states that when she tried to step away, she observed the security guard and others who witnessed the incident but opted to walk away. His security guard or security guard for the restaurant? She asserts that Fox pro proceeded to insert his hands into her pants, touching her vagina. Also, oh, the security guards walked away. Okay. She asserts that Fox proceeded to insert his hand into her pants, touching her vagina and anus. She states that her friend intervened, after which Jamie ceased his actions. She alleges injuries requiring requiring medical treatment and endure pain, suffering, and emotional distress due to the reported sexual assault, abuse, assault, and battery. So if she went to the doctor, she said she um, had to get medical attention, that would be documented. Sure would have. Sure would. Sure would. Documented. She can show. I went to the hospital for this. Child. Jamie, you came back to life <laughs> to a lawsuit like this because your ass is nasty and cruel. Child, maybe your ass should have stayed dead, honey. This is a... 
I'm telling you, when that motherfucker fought back and said, I didn't do this, he might be right. Because, bitch, I'm just a stunt double. I didn't do it. Oh, okay. Jamie's that dead. Was, that was the clone. Okay. Ciao. It says he denies it and plans to counter sue. Mm. Do you also say that it was the damn body double? That there wasn't me, child. Just, I'm my hairline, my hairline is different, child. Child. I don't know where Fonsworth is. Nobody's heard from uh, Bentley. That's that's exactly what happened, and he probably got stopped. Did he made his ass sign an NDA? And that's why Fox from A Sense can't say shit because he under lock and goddamn key when he got their papers. Shout out. Yeah. But if it's a crime, the NDA won't. Yeah, I think. That. Yep, you're right. I think that if it's like a big crime, I think that supersedes the NDA. So if it's like something like really serious, yeah, I think that it does. But shout out. Yeah. Farnsworth, if this any type of murder, you know that over overrides the NDA. Come tell us what happened down there with that car, child. Mm -hmm. yeah, the guy who got the Playboy Mansion, them Cornelius was caught up into that Malaysian ladies. That's why he committed suicide. Ooh, child. Yeah, some stuff came out about Don Cornelius. It's all of these men. I don't know what people are not understand. It's all of them. All of it. It was Doc Cornelius, Jim Brown. I was like, I did watch that um that, that uh, Secrets of Playboy documentary that was on A&E. That was a whole mess. because They broke it down. They said uh, Doc Cornelius was down there doing all type of craziness at that Playboy mansion. Jim Brown, the football player with his nasty ass, was doing all type of shit down there. Bill Cosby ass was doing all type of shit down there. Uh, at the damn Playboy mansion. And Hugh, Hugh Hefner let them do whatever the fuck they wanted to those women. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Mm -mm. And Lori Gibson damn sure knows some shit. You know and she you know do. Michael Bivens is involved. I'm telling y'all. Michael Bivens, new edition. Michael Bivens was on making a band. He was working with them boys on making a band. Oh, he and sure was. Let me tell you. Lori Ann Gibson was on um, making a band too, working with the boys on the choreography. So one day, Diddy was coming in. He was ready to make cuts, but he thought that Lori Ann had been working with them for like two days or something. And it turns out that she had only went over the choreography with the with the guys, the contestants, for like eight hours. So Diddy's mad. I'm over here making cuts, thinking that I'll never forget this thing. Thinking that they've been on this for this amount of time. I couldn't learn all that shit in eight hours either. This is what Diddy said. Long Ann was like, yes, you could. If you can't learn this in eight hours, then why are you here? Diddy gets mad, so it's going off on Long Ann to her to get the fuck out. They arguing loud to the point where the, the, the contestants, the guys, are all disturbed. They're hearing it from another room. So Long Ann is leaving and basically on some like, fuck this and fuck you type shit. And Michael Bivens followed behind Lori Ann and was like, but you got to be respectful, Lori Ann, but you can't have an attitude shit like that. Why the fuck you telling her about being respectful when this man just went the fuck off on her? Okay. Why she didn't want to be respectful? It was crazy. Michael Bivens knows some shit, too. Mm-hmm. Well, he's been in the game for 40 years, child. Child. Michael Bivens on some shit, too. Because he thought he was going to follow Lori Ann, uh, Lori Ann and check her about standing up for herself against Diddy. Like, she just supposed to take his motherfucking abuse and not say anything. Okay. You ain't say you all on fucking Lori Ann, but you ain't say nothing about this nigga Diddy ass sitting here talking to her crazy and cussing her out and calling and screaming. Mm. Michelle, what was the post? Ooh. Child, Ooh. it's all coming out. Oh, oh, that Fosworth spit a little side tea. Ooh. What was the post? Nobody got a screenshot of it. Nobody Child. saved it. Child, let me go dig that up. Ooh. Somebody got it. 
Yeah, Mace know because Mace ran to Jesus. Mace said, y'all bitches ain't going to have me involved. That's what um, Sloan Bella said, that Kim was exposing him from the grave. Child. Sloan Bella been right the whole time. And you know what? I need to dig into Offset's connection to this. How is Offset? Is it somebody was trying to kill Offset? What is what does he have to do with this? Because she said she specifically said offset. What what is what does he know? What does he have to do with it? I'm gonna get into all of it, but every bit, every goddamn story. Okay. Station, every fucking thing that's being said. I want all the motherfucking tea. I want to know who did it. Cassie was spotted out smiling. She got that nine fingers. I would be smiling too. Okay. On my way to motherfucking Bloomingdale, Sonny. It sure would. I'm sure telling would. You, smiling too. Sure would. And after I leave Bloomingdale, I'm going to go to Nordstrom's. After I leave Nordstrom's, I'm going to Hermes. After I leave Hermes, I'm going to go to Louis Vuitton. After I leave Louis Vuitton, I'm going to go to Burt McGoodman. After Gilbert McGoodman, I'm going to go down to Barney's. After Barney's, I'm going to go and get me something to eat. And after I give me something to eat, I'm going to roll my ass to Gucci. I'm going to roll my ass over to uh, Prada. I'm going to roll my ass over to uh, Chanel. I'm going to be doing it too. I'll be real happy with Diddy's money in my pocket, spending it like it ain't spending it like it's motherfucking water, like it's water coming out of my pocket. I sure would. Like it's water coming out of a goddamn faucet. I sure would too. That woman went through hell with Diddy. And I believe it was even worse than what she described in the goddamn lawsuit. I believe it's more than that. Yeah. yeah. With other women. Yeah. No. I believe it's women, it's children, it's all that. Um, AC, what you got to contribute? Oh, let me mute um the show. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so I, I called you and I, I actually DM'd you on Instagram first because I wanted to verify everything I was saying. Um, but I wanted to say, you know, I do think it's the whole industry. I think I don't remember your co-host name, but I um worked for Def Jam for a long time. Hold and up, speak up, speak up, AC. Speak a little louder. We want to hear you. Can you hear me? It's a little low. Speak up. I'm 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 okay. I'm speaking loud. Can you hear me now? Yep, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so yeah, I worked for Def Jam for a long time. I even worked for Revolt for a short time. I, I've never met Diddy, but I, I dated an artist who was signed to um, French Montana, and then he was signed to Warehouse, um, so that's Memphis Leaks label. And he told me, like, just in, you know, pillow talking, that he had went to a party of Diddy's with French, and that it was so salacious, like, they were doing so much, like, weird shit and um he had to leave like he was but he couldn't get out of there like he was stuck because they were like far up in the hills um in california and i really think like it's the whole industry you know what i'm saying because obviously like you know french montana's like diddy's friend like very good friend um so he was down and i asked him hold on ac french montana was accused of rape too i reported that when i had my old channel See, I didn't Go even know that. I just know was. from this story. Go and like ahead. I said, I, I DM'd you because I can show you, like, I've been longtime friends with Russell Simmons, like, assistant who has told me stories as well. Not really about rape, just about weird shit. You know what I'm saying? And he's following me on Instagram, so I can, you know, I can verify everything I'm saying. Who's but, like, following you on Instagram? First, um, Russell Simmons, longtime assistant. And, and Russell's following him as well. Like I said, I, I DM'd you on Instagram just because I wanted you to see, like, that I am actually, like, you know, kind of... Do you have a it. Mickey Mouse profile picture? No, babe. Mm -mm. But I, I don't know. want you to say my name either because I'm not gonna a lot of people know me. I just don't know which... I don't see you on Instagram. I mm -hmm. DM'd you a little while ago, but... Okay, just DM me again so I can find it. So go okay. ahead, so... Yeah, but French was accused of rape. I talked about it on my um on my channel before they took down my old channel. But go ahead with what you were saying. So but they yeah. had a party. 
yeah, they had a party in the hills. Diddy had a party, and um, French took his artist. And I mean, you could, I mean, I don't want to put that person out either because he's a really good guy. And like I said, I dated him for years. Um, but he let me know like it was a lot of you know crazy sexual stuff going on at the party to the point where he went outside to wait because he couldn't even get an Uber to the hills where they were at. Um, but like I said, I asked my husband after you know all this stuff about Diddy came out with him you know, making Cassie do stuff. I was like, you think French stuck Diddy sick? I'm sorry, can I say that? I'm I'm sorry. But you think French did, you know, because, like, he was really involved in these parties and stuff like that that was going on. And although my ex never said it was, you know, um, male-on-male stuff, him saying he was so uncomfortable made me feel that way. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. So you're so they don't want to say anything. They don't want to put anything out there. I mean, I I I actually hit him up when all this stuff happened and said I I, I really have a like I, I hit up Russell Simmons ex um not ex ex assistant who is my friend too to try to talk and everybody is like so quiet even though they've told me mad stories in the past it's almost like now they want to kind of be like super mom and I don't want to uh, broadcast it. This is the only you know thing I called in on and I don't have a YouTube or anything like that. I just I'm a fan of yours, so yeah. yeah I don't know. I'm I I want to get the tea now because obviously stuff was going on because they were telling me crazy stories even then, and I'm like, oh, that's crazy, but it it wasn't that level of crazy like what Cassie was saying. But I I believe it based on the stuff that I heard, which was just like yeah. they were having crazy sex parties. They were having like these uh trips where it was like um people getting flown in who didn't seem like they wanted to be there, stuff like that, um, Russell and Diddy. Wait a minute. So the people seemed like they were like being trafficked, like they didn't really want to participate? Right, that's what I was told, honestly. But were these children, young people? No, no, no not, I didn't hear anything about children, no. I didn't, you know, just to be honest. But they, they sound like they were, you know, getting trafficked then. Honestly, they didn't look like they wanted to be there. And as far as like, so as far as that situation, I'm talking about Russell. Um, his ex assistant told me like he was like I didn't want anything to do with that. Like it was scary, you know, to him. And um, he's still really close with Russell. Like I said, he's following me. Russell's following him. I can show all that, you know. Um, and Russell, I asked him to come to Dubai, and he had asked me to go to Dubai with him. And I'm like, nah, <laughs> not with the stories that you told me. Like you know what I'm saying? Um, so he's not, you know, he's, he's in that loop and he said that there's been trips where he's gone over there and they've flown people in and they don't want to be there still to this day, like energy. Ooh. So where were, were the people from like another country or something? Like, yeah, I don't even have all those details. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh, this person asked the same thing I'm saying. Like, what do you think, women from other countries? I mean, I don't know if they were from this country or if they were from other countries, mm -hmm. um, but he didn't say male or female. What he said was they didn't look like they wanted to be there. Right. And so he didn't want to be, you know, in the mix, really. And which is why he was like, you know, um, so I don't know. Like, it's, it, we should have a conversation, but there's some stuff that I'm kind of like, I don't want to sound scared, but I am kind of scared. I'm not even gonna lie because I'm scared somebody's gonna hear my voice and know who I am. Um, but yeah, it's scary a little bit, but but it's got, I mean, it needs it's got to come out, it does definitely have to come out, and that, that's really why I wanted to call in because I really do think it's the whole industry and it's just a lot of like. <laughs> Where is shit going on? And I've never experienced, nobody has ever sexually harassed me or done anything. Like I said, I worked at MTV. I worked at Def Jam for years. Um, I worked at Revolt for a time. Um, nobody's ever done anything to me, but there's always, there is an undercurrent of like just scary shit going on all the time. And, and that's just my experience. Scary shit, like what? Like, I don't know. I, I want to say it's the energy. Like, it's the energy. Like, it's just always kind of like, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, but it, it is. It's like an undercurrent of, like, negative, scary shit, like, which is also why I'm kind of scared even saying this shit right now. You know what I'm saying? But 
I definitely have a couple of stories. Um, and again, like I said, I definitely know that my ex told me about that story with French. And after that, he went on to warehouse. He's he's never say anything to. I know that you say a lot of shit about Jay Z, and I would love to pick his brain about that because he he was in close proximity with Jay Z while he was at warehouse. Um, but yeah, I don't know. But I yeah, Jay Z yeah, got some shit with him. I'll drop down. I just wanted to interject that, and I'll DM you so I can verify everything I was saying again. But I just wanted to say that and say, no, you, I really love your channel, and you do the best. Thank you. All thank right, have a good night. Yes, thank you so much. Ooh. Are the lights up? Y'all know I'm gonna be digging. I'm I'm digging. I'm digging. Ciao. That's why they hate y'all. You know, they hate y'all. They say, I'm just a messy blogger. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm like, oh, okay, well, bitch, I'm not going to beg you. I don't give a fuck if you believe it or not. Y'all go listen to Tasha K's lying ass then. That sit there and make up stories and admit to making up stories. I guess that's who y'all want to hear from. A, a ugly bitch that lies. So go listen to her. She's more palatable for y'all. She's ugly. A lot of ugly women relate to ugly women. So she's ugly. She's bad built. She has a nasty attitude, she's miserable, and she's a liar, okay? So a lot of these women who are that, they relate to her. They can't sit and, and watch me. They got to tell people that I used to be 400 pounds and I got five kids. That's what I, that's the only way I'm acceptable. When they lie and say I used to be five, bitch, when was I ever five anything? Four, three, or two anything. I ain't never been above 143 in my entire life. And five kids, bitch, I would have tied my tubes after the first one. I don't like children. I would tie my tubes before the first one. Where are these kids coming from? Y'all weird. You don't like me because I'm something that you can't relate to. Okay? You can relate to ugly bitches that piss in, in uh, water bottles and shit. Okay? I got a lot of tea on Jay-Z, a lot. Court documents and everything. Okay. Court documents and everything. Might be. Might be. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody. I'm going to remind y'all again, you have to go to the link in my bio. I'm going to get on my other channel too. I talked about Trey Songs and Dave East and how they raped that woman. Okay. They did. I talked about it. So those of you who got here late, let me block this channel because you don't come over here name drop it in my chat. We don't give a fuck. Those of you who got here late, I told y'all about that two years ago. Now Dave East is in the blogs for, you know, being in contact with an escort, but I told y'all that him and Trey Songz raped an escort. Yeah, I don't see that. I don't see that. I don't see it in the request. You sent it to the wrong page or something? I don't see it. I don't see that.
I'm going to have to go to it. I got a lot of messages. I don't see that, though. Yeah, Jay-Z is definitely on some shit. Anyway, I put that link in the description of this video. Uh, all right, girl, let me go see. This page, I don't know if this is the one. Okay, I see it. All right, yeah, I see it now. So anyway. Ciao. Jay Z is scared. I have that. I have that court document. We're gonna go into all that. Y'all know I'm. I'm gonna break it down. I don't care. I'm not scared of Jay Z. Okay. No. Nah, sis. Nah. I don't know. Maybe. But he called her out about her brother being a child molester, and her knowing about it. So it seems like he wouldn't want to do that if she had tea on him. He said that's why he got away from her because she knew that her brother was molesting that girl. Now, if she got tea on him, he would be quiet and just quietly go. Okay. So I think that was about exactly what the fuck he said. I, that don't mean he ain't fucking Diddy, but she might not know about it. Okay. That, that, that shit, that's a whole different story. So anyway, everybody, make sure you all go to the description and get the link to that blog post, all right? And also, everybody here who is a woman, okay, this is, I have a separate channel for women only. I'm going to drop the link so that all of the women here can go over to that channel and subscribe. The name of the channel is Holistic Therapy, H-E-A-U-X, Holistic Therapy. Okay, I just dropped it in the chat. Do you all see that? If you are a woman, woman, women, some of y'all are new. If you're new to the channel, can you put a seven in the chat so we can welcome you to the channel? Okay, put a seven if you are new. Yes, go over to Holistic Therapy and subscribe. And if you want the tea on what Trey Songs and Dave East did to that escort, is on my blog. The link is in the description. You are not new here, girl. We have seen you more than once. Y'all be cloud chasing. We have seen you more than once. Stop. You're not new. Stop begging for attention. Welcome to the actual new people, okay? Welcome to the new people. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you are a woman, Yes, the women channel, we have a good time over there on the channel for women. We be getting into some things. All right, yes, welcome to new people. Okay. Child, they be begging for attention. That's so weird. Y'all welcome her so she can feel like she got a welcome, please. All right, welcome in all of the new people. If you are a woman, Click that link that I just dropped in the chat and go subscribe to that channel. I'm going to go live on that channel next. We're going to talk over there about me going to the hospital last night and all that. Diddy did not poison me, y'all. Weird. That man did not poison me. I don't know that man. He's I've never been near Diddy that I know of. Okay? So y'all saying that Diddy must have poisoned me. That did not happen. Okay? Yes, please go subscribe to the other channel. I put a lot of information over there for women, okay? That is separate from the celebrity news. We talk about things that women need to know. 
okay? Women. Yes, please welcome them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mar asked, been here. Mar, don't play with us. Go over to the other channel, Mar. You've been here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Child, Jay-Z needs to be shaking. Jay-Z's a child molester. Okay? I'm not going to say allegedly. That man is a... Jay-Z, don't make me prove it. Don't make me prove it. Jay-Z's a child molester. Yeah, you over here trying to get attention, trying to get a new welcome. Okay? Welcome to all the newbies. Smart U.S. Agent could set new precedent for a RICO case for human trafficking by using the current date the victims came forward and made the allegations. Well, honestly, I think that Diddy's going to go down for trafficking. I think he's going to go down for trafficking. I think that Cassie was very smart to mention the, the trafficking in that lawsuit because that's opening everything up for the feds. Okay, now the feds are looking at it. Wait a minute, trafficking, when they hear the word trafficking, you could be talking about cars and traffic. The feds, their ears perk up. Hold up, traffic. Now what happened? Who was trafficked? He won't get the DNA test because that's his son and that girl was probably underage and he wasn't because Foxy Brown was underage, Rihanna was underage, and Leah was underage, and Beyonce was underage. Jay-Z is a child molester. Okay, he molests children. Yes, we have another Mar child. Okay. The feds need to pick that shit up, the child. So again, everybody who does the video, like everybody who sends super chats and cash apps, especially the cash app. Thank y'all so much. For supporting the channel. Um, I really be over here spilling tea and motherfuckers really be hating all on Instagram saying that's the bitch that's being sued by Nicki Minaj or she's a liar. Bitch, I ain't lied yet. No, no, I don't lie, bitch. You just mad. Cause you like Nicki, you up Nicki's ass. You so far up her ass shots that you can't see that I'm telling the truth about her. Period. Now she came out and caught her own self a drug addict. Now those fucking barbs are quiet. You bitches are quiet now. You little dick sucking weirdos. You little cock sucking weirdos. Her fans are creepy. Creepy little fucking barbell heads. Where are you bitches at now? You don't have nothing to fucking say now that that fucking bitch came out and said that she's an addict. Y'all want to talk about molesting children. You need to dig into her connection to Lil Twist. What was that about? This goes beyond what her and Justin Bieber, her and the, the person that she brought up on stage. Look into that Lil Twist shit. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. Fuck the barbs. No, they mad because I told the truth and that bitch got so, so fucking triggered by me exposing her rapist ass husband that she sued me. That was not about me calling her no fucking addict. Bitch, everybody's called that whore addict. That whore was mad that I exposed that husband of hers. Let me get the video. Let me let me drop the video for y'all. The video with his friend. He came over and told us what was going on. Let me drop this link. Because bitch, one thing I don't do, I don't lie. Oh. I run my mouth. That don't mean I'm lying, bitch. I'm running my mouth with the truth. So I just put the link. I'm on. I'm live on Twitch and YouTube, by the way. 
All right, I'm going to go check. I put the link to the video where Kenneth Petty's own friend spilled tea on him. Nicki Minaj's rapist husband, Kenneth Petty. It's on my blog. You have to go to nosyholelive.com. So y'all got to get on y'all Zoom at 10. Okay? Y'all got to get on y'all fucking Zoom at 10. And the first conversation I ever had with um, Jennifer Huff, who was the woman that Kenneth Petty raped, that Nicki Minaj was trying to get to recant. Yes, she was. That's why she's suing me, because I talked to that woman back in December of 2020. And her alter ego is an actual rapist, but they never going to look into Roman. They never going to look into Roman Polanski. They just run their fucking mouth like somebody got to lie on that fucking bitch. I don't have to lie on that whore. The fuck I need to lie on that whore for? Fuck I look like to you. I just dropped a link to the first conversation that I ever had with Jennifer Huff in December of 2020. That video's on my blog too. Okay? It's all there. Anybody who was curious about why that bitch filed that lawsuit, because I'm on her, her rapist man's ass. He's a rapist. He's a raping little son of a bitch. He's a weirdo too. Fucking weirdo. Child. In time, in time. Hey, girl. Yeah, that bitch knob was on her her big um stank ass with the truth. She watches me because I interviewed that woman. She's watching right now. Y'all know Nicki Minaj. Who, who here has been here and knows that Nicki Minaj be in my damn chat? Every time I say something, she, she'll she run and complain. I get a call. Did you say, God damn, bitch, why are you running to the lawyers complaining? You're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. They got my whole YouTube channel taken down. I had to start over from zero subscribers. Okay? Because of me telling the truth. That's that's what happened. That's the real tea. That's the real motherfucking truth. Child, I already did a police report against Nikki and everything. It's a, I had to move because of Nicki Minaj and her fans. I live in, that's why I don't show anything. Because when I lived at my apartment on the beach, I used to show where I was on the beach and everything. Child, people was threatening to kill my dog. Like I was going to sit there and let them take my dog. Why would I sit there and let you take my dog? That's why I don't show my surroundings. I had to relocate because of Nicki Minaj. And her fucking sick, dirty ass faggot fans. They're weirdos. Weirdos. And she harassed me on my Instagram page. She was in my comments for like two or three days on my Instagram and in, and in my DMs too. Everybody saw it. We, they was over here on my channel saying she was fast. She went live and showed her stomach. Everything that I do, that bitch is watching. She's here right now. Hey, Nikki. Good morning, Onika. Good morning, Onika. Welcome. Bitch. What you over there doing? We know you like drugs. You said it. Yourself. Girl, you need to go Google Nosy Hole Live Nicki Minaj. The whole lawsuit is there. And she put my real name out there. She did. 
in her Instagram story, like a psychopath. Like a psychopath. That bitch is crazy. Child, I don't know what's wrong with these people. I really don't. But I'm not going to stop talking. And listen, y'all, I went to the hospital yesterday because of my fibroids. It had nothing to do with any celebrity. Nobody poisoned me. Somebody did hack my Instagram, my uh, Twitter, and they put up a weird picture. Somebody sent it to me at the beginning of this live. Y'all might not have been here. They put up a weird picture of a mouth stitched up. They hacked into my shit. I had to get back into my own Twitter. It's getting scary around here. Yes, she doxed me on her Instagram. She put my real name, Marley Green, y'all know it now, in her Instagram story. Nobody knew my name. Yes. The the case is still going, but it's not going anywhere. I'm trying to tell y'all. Let me just mom, let me leave that alone, okay? I'm I'm not going to talk about it. Everybody's going to see what happens. Everybody's going to see. She put my life in danger. I had to relocate. I had to move. Everything's on my channel and in the blogs and shit. Except the, the stuff that was on my old channel that they took down. Some of that stuff is on my blog on notehillive.com. The rest of it is gone. I will have to subpoena YouTube for it. And she really wanted me to break down and, and care and cry. Bitch, I'm an Aquarius. I'm not you, ho. You little sick ass bitch. So anyway, this is the Messiest channel on YouTube. Everybody who has been supporting the channel um, and ask, was asking for me to come back when I stopped doing news. I've been back. I'm going to ask all of you. Y'all are in group chats with your friends and family members and your coworkers. And everybody that y'all know, send them the link to my YouTube channel and tell them this is the best channel on YouTube because it is. And I'm going to stand on it. This is the best channel on YouTube. Share the channel. Make sure you come over here and like all of the videos. Make a playlist with all of my long ass lives and play them bitches overnight. Support the channel. Support the channel. Stop begging for, oh, come back. I'm back. Support the damn channel. All right. I appreciate everybody that gave the video a like. Everybody that sent cash apps. Again, thank y'all so much. Um, I think I got two cash apps today. And it looks like nine super chats. Thank y'all so much for sending. I really, really appreciate you all for sending them. Okay. Thank you all for sending everything that you sent. And I want to tell y'all again, ladies, support holistic therapy. We have very important conversations over there. I'm going to drop the link for holistic therapy. If you are a woman, go subscribe to that channel. That channel is for you. I'm about to be live over there in a few minutes. So I just need to get something to eat. And I got to take my iron. I was in the hospital yesterday, y'all. Like yesterday in the morning. I get, I lose track of time. It was yesterday in the like overnight morning time. So that would have been day before yesterday. I came home from the hospital yesterday, like late afternoon or something like that, late afternoon. And I went to sleep, but I was, when I would wake up, I would check to see what was going on with all of the blogs and stuff. So I was saving stuff, but I really had a hard time like staying. Even after I got the fluids at the hospital, I had a hard time like staying awake. I really needed rest. So I feel better now, but I need to take my vitamins and just be on top of things so that I don't pass out like that again. That's scary. Okay, I have. And I found out last night they did a, a vaginal ultrasound and I found out the cash app is on the screen. It's Marley the Mermaid. Y'all, it's scrolling across. You said drop your cash app. It's scrolling across the screen, the bottom. Y'all don't see that? It has my cash app and my Zelle and PayPal. 
Okay, thank you to everybody that sends a cash app. Thank you. So I, they did a, a vaginal ultrasound, and I found out last night that I don't have one. They told me before, just two weeks ago, I have one fibroid, and it's a big grapefruit size fibroid. I found last night that I have three. She showed them to me on the screen. I have three, not one. So we're going to talk about all that on holistic therapy because that channel is for women, women's health, mental health, all of that. We don't talk about celebrity news over there. We talk about things that are for women. Make sure you go and subscribe if you are a woman. I'll see y'all over there in a few minutes after I get myself a little breakfast, smoothie or something. All right. And I'll be over there. Everybody else, thank you all for tuning in to Nosey Hill Live. Make sure you share my channel with everybody. This is the best channel on YouTube. And if you have any celebrity tea that you want to share, you want to remain anonymous, whatever, send it to nosyholive at gmail.com. A lot of people send me stuff anonymously. I do not spill your tea. I don't tell who you are. I'm not going to give your identity. Okay? I'm, I don't do that. Let me block this person because you're not going to come and speak negativity over me. You weird bitch. Get the fuck out of my chat. Blocked. Um, but anyway, make sure that you send me whatever you want to share. <coughs> yeah, it's scary. Mine is scheduled for December 13th. All right. Make sure you send me the tea. And um, I'll see y'all on Holistic Therapy in a few minutes. Nosy hold live where that messy reside. <laughs> nosy hold live where that messy reside. Nay, hey, nosy hold live where that messy resides. Yeah. Where that messy resides. Where that messy room. Nosy hold live where that messy resides. Nosy, nosy, nosy hold live where that messy resides. Nay, nosy hold live where that messy resides. Nosy, nosy, nosy hold live where that messy resides. Nosy hold live where that messy resides. Nosy, nosy, nosy hold live where that messy resides. Nosy, nosy, nosy hold live where that messy resides. Nosy, nosy, nosy hold live where that messy resides. Nosy, nosy, nosy hold live where that messy resides. Nosy, nosy, nosy hold live where that messy resides.